Oh, what? Um, hmm. OBS does say that audio, wait. Oh, wait. Is it just my voice, though? That might be the issue here. Okay, um, then I need to change the thing, even though OBS says this word audio is coming true, it isn't apparently, <laughs> which is great. Um, you should be coming through now. Uh, let's see, am I coming through? Yes, I am coming through. <laughs> I can hear myself. Yeah. Okay. I can hear no. me. Just barely hear me. I can just barely hear me. Anyway, uh, anyway, the audio is good, I think. Ah, uh, well, it is. It is Friday morning. We're feeling good. Lord Ernest Walnut has been murdered. He's been found dead, slumped over his desk, poisoned, not for a family function, in which friends and relations arrive to have their portrait taken. And this is, uh, and we are here today as part of the Roll Plus Bond 4th Anniversary Stream. We're raising money for Trans Lifeline, and today we are playing Lady Susan P.I., an adaptation of Good Society. And... Which is, uh, well, an adaptation of Good Society in which, uh, in which, as I just mentioned, a man is murdered, someone is responsible, we don't quite know who. Or rather, we know who, you don't know who. But... <laughs> <laughs> because we're playing with some hidden information in, a, in, a, uh, in an unusual setup. But, in any case, a murder has been done, money needs to be made. <laughs> by the by these uh by this uh by this quartet of terrible regency women and there is uh and we have a we have a beautiful stable of players here tonight let's introduce ourselves i am happy birthday my pronouns are they them and i am facilitating this game so i'll be playing lady susan as well as one of the major characters who is miss who is mrs marista capet who will who we will, we will be getting acquainted with shortly Who's next? My name is Alice. I use she, her pronouns, and I'll be playing Lady Hazel Walnut, who also uses she, her pronouns. Uh, she's 23, and she's the spoiled niece of Lord Walnut. Um, she has yeah, the doe-eyed hair to his fortune, um, very big, very wet eyes, crying a lot. It's been a difficult time. Yeah, um, I'm Cindy, with an I, it's important. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'll be playing uh, Lady Mass, uh, Walnut Hickory, or also known as Miss, ha uh, Miss Mac Hickory. Um, she's 47 years old, and she's the in-progress divorcee of Lord Walnut, but now it's turned into a widow with his untimely murder. Or that, I should say. Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Untimely murder. <laughs> there, there are suspicions. It wasn't his time yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is also Cindy, but this time with a Y. And my character is also named Miss Meg, but uh, I was adopted, so my last name is Wall. Uh, Miss Meg Wall is 20 years old and is not from around here, but was uh, informed by Hazel Walnut that she may find her parentage in this, in this area. Mm -hmm. I have you done as an unexpected interloper, which is, uh, which is, yep. which is, I think, how the rest of us perceive you. But uh, well, maybe not, maybe not Hazel. You're buddies with Hazel, right? Yeah, yeah. Good friends. Good friends. Yeah, great friends. Uh, pen pals. 
Mm-hmm. Long time acquaintances. I forgot to mention that Mrs. Marista Capet is uh, is Lord Walnut's former question mark mistress. <laughs> I think they they were uh, they they were involved, but then were parted by scandal. This was She's reported a... in the papers. Yeah, it had it had to be reported in the papers because while we are playing with historical accuracy, a little important, we did collaboration ahead of time. Good Society has incredible collaboration tools. Check out Good Society by by Story Brewers of. Story Brewers games? I forget, forget what the name is exactly, but uh, it's it's a Story Brewers game about playing in the Regency, and we are going to we're going to use we are going to use the Lady Susan PI expansion from uh, an expanded acquaintance to do a to do a funny little one shot about some murders. Our tone is black comedy. Uh, our gen- our gender power balance is off, although. We're playing sort of historical. It's more that like we aren't going to get we aren't going to be getting like super in depth with like uh, with, with like the patriarchy and stuff like that. Like the patriarchy obviously informs all of our depictions, but there is uh, but it's not going to be the main focus of the story. As for the hidden information, I put down some. Uh, we don't have hidden information from each other as the players to clarify what that means, but we are going to be we are going to be keeping uh, who did the murder exactly from the audience for the time being. We will, of course, we will, of course, maybe see, maybe see about revealing that in the end. But we're going to be having both. Uh, but this is going to be relevant because uh, since this is a stream, we are going to be we are going to be making use of the audience for two main things. Uh, the first is uh, during this game there will be an interview phase where all the other players are uh, are where, where all the other players are going to be you know uh, asking questions of the potential suspects in the murder and the chat will be able to submit a question. I think that's a, I think I, I think that's broadly where we where we landed with uh, with, with yeah. audience participation. And finally, yeah. chat will also get a vote on uh, who do they think did the murder. Which is, which is what the, which is what the, uh, which is what the confrontation phase is all about, or who they want to confess to the murder, or who, who yeah. they want Lady Susan to accuse. Yeah, who they want Lady Susan to accuse, and who, uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's not who did the murder. Uh, mm-hmm. The murder is already done. The the, <laughs> the one who did the murder definitely did the murder. <laughs> You can just uh, you can just name you can just decide who uh, who is accused of the murder because this isn't importantly a murder mystery. This is a murder drama or well, you know murder black comedy where a murder has happened, but but we aren't exactly we aren't we aren't necessarily invested in the mystery of it as we are in uh, how terrible these women can be to each other. <laughs> this is a good game. <laughs> I feel like that's a promise I can solidly make ahead of time. <laughs> but yeah, now that we have, uh, but yeah, now that we have uh, introduced all of that, is there anything I'm forgetting? Um, I don't think so. We can just like, if there oh, is anything. Oh, the like... epistolary. Do we want the mm. the audience to be able to also send notes? Or have we uh, not settled on that? I think in the pistolary it'll be a little weird to send notes. Yeah. But... Okay. So yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's more most everything. I think we've mentioned who we all are, what the game is, what we're going to be doing. I'm kind of narrating this off the top of my dome, so maybe maybe I'm not exactly on the ball for all the things. So it's if I forget fine. anything, but do remind me. Yeah. We can always just mention it as we're playing. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, to introduce more of the premise, I as the facilitator have this solemn duty. So Lord Ernest Walnut, who, as you might guess from the name, is kind of an important guy. In the Regency, just in, in the Regency, if you were a lord, you were a member of the, uh, you were a member of the peerage, which is a, uh, which doesn't mean that much in practice. It just means that I think you can be in the House of Lords if things line up for you and also you can uh, and also you get to be called lord and like your uh, your immediate descendant can be called the honorable such and such and so forth and for lord Wal- for lord ernest walnut this is this is cold comfort because he's been found dead slumped over his <laughs> desk uh seemingly from a poisoning 
there's been a vial found. There is a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of other stuff going on over there, and we have uh, and this happened after he invited. Uh, well, he he invited uh, he invited a bunch of people over for a family function in which friends and relations arrived to have their portrait taken. The big family portrait is uh, a big family portrait is a big centerpiece. There was a lot of people posing. There was a uh, there was a uh, there's a, there's a lot of talk about positioning in the portrait and and so forth. And uh, well, after this memorable afternoon or so. Uh, the next morning, his valet found him. Uh, <laughs> found him dead. In it was desk. me. It was me. I found. I oh am, yeah, I I'm forgot about that. You found him. Yes, I. I didn't see the murder, but I did find this interesting vial with a label ripped off mm -hmm. at the scene of the crime. Yeah. And and had a dramatic gasp and then cry. Father. <laughs> Father, no. How did this happen? I'm sure you were I'm sure you were on the scene for perfectly innocuous reasons. Absolutely. Like why 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 else would I be there? I would never dream of implying otherwise. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Lord Walnut's lawyers, uh, Kirk and Pine solicitors, find all of this a little bit sketchy. This, uh, this, like this entire bit. series of events. And, and so they have this yeah? group of people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Lord Walnut's lawyers think that, you know, if Lord Walnut really has been murdered, then, you know, maybe it's a, uh, maybe, maybe it would be wise to possibly amend the will a little bit. So the you know like uh, so the murderer is not potentially awarded his estate if 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 there is a murderer of course if a murderer can be found so they have uh, so they have hired an eminent lady investigator Lady Susan to arrive on the scene and figure out what the hell happened. She has not yet arrived. She will arrive at the at the end of the first novel chapter. That's Good Society's terminology for the for the like main play chapters, where we just kind of do scenes and stuff like that. And this is like this is all in the cycle of play. You'll note that the first novel chapter says, uh, "Remind players of Lord Walnut's demise. He is super dead." I'm reminding all of you of <laughs> oh, this. Oh no! Is he? <laughs> yes. Oh, no. uh, We're all heartbroken. We are. <laughs> My precious husband. Uh huh. Uh, so, X. No, late husband. Not X. Late husband. This room is our chat, everyone, please. <laughs> Have some chat for Lord Walnut. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for paying respect. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord Walnut, what a guy. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the, so we uh, so I've remind I've, I've suitably reminded everybody of his demise. Uh, we'll we'll set introductory scenes. Lady Susan P.I. has a uh, has a sort of indication that's uh, uh, it kind of goes in like a in like a go around kind of way, sort of like fiasco, where we just uh, where we each get like a scene, and then then at the end of the chapter and then at the end of the chapter, Lady, uh, the lawyer and Lady Susan arrive, and uh, Lady so Lady Susan picks out one of us. Picks one of the names out of the hat, probably at random. Surely there's no evidence pointing to anyone at this point, and accuses and accuses a prime suspect. And at that point, we we get to the interview chapter, but that is uh, but that's less important. So, I think since we've said since we've done all the collaboration and all of that, I think we can get into it if everybody's ready. Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. Okay. So, it is it has been a few hours since uh, since Miss Meg Wall discovered the body of Lord Walnut in his study, slumped over a desk, and the vibes in and the vibes in Wal in <laughs> I was about to say Walnut Manor. <laughs> that might just be what it's <laughs> called. It's probably named something else, because, you know, I, I don't imagine Lord Walnut's lived here forever. But for now, Walnut Manor. 
Uh, and the vibes in, Wal in Walnut Manor are, are, to put it mildly, kind of turning. Suspicious. <laughs> I don't. I, I. 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 don't want to make too much of a determination here, but I think the vibes might be a little rancid in here. Uh. So yeah. Uh, who wants to? So how we're how, how we're gonna operate uh, here is that uh, when when the turn comes for individual characters, we we basically name what kind of scene we want. So for example, <laughs> this is Rustica Pit. Might want a scene with who might she want a scene with? Mm. <laughs> like with like, like with Meg Hickory, you know? <laughs> it is the nut house. God. It's nut park. <laughs> <sighs> God. Uh, yeah, and and uh, and essentially we play this in a fairly free form. I think I think I think all of us have played Good Society before, so you already know how this goes. We'll we'll, we'll demonstrate it's, the chat by example. Watch, yeah. So yeah, where do we begin? You wanted to discuss with the lady of the manor. Yeah. <laughs> Who the real lady is? <gasps> the nearly ex lady of the manor. <laughs> We don't know that. <laughs> it's all over the news. Yeah, yeah. So this is an important. This is an important bit of historical context. Uh, so, <laughs> Lady Meg Walnut Hickory had to divorce. Uh, had to divorce Lord Ernest Walnut for a number of reasons, because you had to provide reasons. Also, funny fact about a regency: when you wanted a divorce, it had to go through both chambers of Parliament to be official. To be official. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not official yet. It's not official yet. Long and drawn out. <laughs> yeah. Long, drawn out, extremely public. Transcripts are published. People buy them. <laughs> this family's dirty laundry is a matter of record. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Lady Walnut Hickory, what are what are you up to? Um, <laughs> when Mrs. Pitt interrupts you, <laughs> I think she's basically in like one of those in in like a sitting room, you know, and it's just like, you know, very, uh, just this spot, so distraught, just like bawling her eyes out. Oh, she's um, so dismayed at this murder that has occurred on her late husband. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm making are... a very public display of it. Um, obviously, yeah, and I think at this point Mrs. Pitt enters the room. Uh, I, I, th I think Mrs. Pitt enters the room, like, uh, like I imagine this is a parlor, and just kind of <laughs> like walks in and is like, and looks. Uh, I think compared to. I th I think compared to Lady I think compared to Lady Meg, uh, she looks. Uh, she looks kind of. Disturbed, a little keyed up, like uh, like very tense. <laughs> she gets in and goes. She gets in and looks at uh, and just kind of stares for a moment as uh, as Miss Meg Hickory balls her eyes out and, is, and just says uh, just says, and she says something like, "I, you've heard the news, right?" Yes, obviously. Please. Why do you think I'm crying? Well, I, I, I can't believe it. How? Oh, Ernest yes. dead? Uh, who would do such a thing? Who would do such a thing? Uh, you must be hard. You, you, you must be sick with grief. Oh, I am. Your cousin, I am. Like, crying some more. Mrs. Pitt's eyes completely dry. <laughs> you just, uh, you just, you're staring out. I think she sits down and goes, Oh, oh my god. What a, 
What a me what a horrible mess. It's just like her nest. Oh, always at the most untimely dates. <laughs> Do such things happen, don't they? The man's timing is awful. But truly, likewise more. We didn't even get to finish the portrait. I think uh, the, the camera of the scene like turns around and sees the like unfinished portrait in the back of the room, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's half painted. It's like uh, like yeah. the like the artist sketched it out. Yeah. <laughs> I think Mrs. Pitt stares at the portrait and says, "I think it. I think the portrait did come out well, all things considered." <laughs> oh yes, beautiful coffee chip. I'll, I'll talk to I'll to I'll, I'll talk to John. He'll make uh, he'll make he'll make artists look great in the portrait. <laughs> of course. He'll seem he'll he'll look twice as good as he did in life. <laughs> oh, he looks so good in life, though. We'll make him look better. We'll. You think you've seen hagiography? Hey, we're going to. We're going to. We're going to. Well, Ernest. Ernest was. It's like she's kind of practicing a eulogy. She she kind of looks out <laughs> in the distance, goes like, Ernest was a complicated man. He was, he really was so complicated. He had, he had his faults, it's true. But what man doesn't? He had well, a beautiful soul. Truly. And we'll make sure the painting says that. I'll make sure, make sure the painting conveys that. Yeah, yeah, just put the word in there. He had a beautiful soul. Meg, a picture's worth... Cousin, that picture's worth a thousand words. Oh, yes. Put a picture in there of... It was a complicated man. Well, it'll be his... Uh, we'll, we'll hang it up on the wall and people will walk through these halls dozens of years later and say, look at that man. Such dignity. Such comportment. Such complexity. And of course, we'll look handsome too. Oh, we'll look great. Obviously. We'll be the we'll, and 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 people will look at us and say we were the women who made him great. We I'm sure they'll say that. Do you, do you need it? You seem, you seem rather overcome with grief. Oh, I am. Like, uh, stop. Uh... Starts crying again. Rather... <laughs> She's about to say rather conspicuously so, but thinks better of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's... Uh... It's unfortunate you never managed to finalize the divorce. I think Max is just like, Oh, you wish that, wouldn't you? Glad at you. What? I'm just saying. You went, through, you went through all this trouble. You, you, you drive, you drive, you drag the man's name through the mud. You drag my name through the mud. You dragged everybody's names through the mud, and now, and now, and now, and now, and now Ernest just goes and dies. He started this whole thing. He dragged our names through the mud. He could have just continued the different lives as it was, but he needed to divorce me. For what? Well, I think... I think he said something about not being happy or something. Can you imagine? Divorcing a woman just because you're not happy. <laughs> what happened to a good old-fashioned separation? <laughs> I swear, Ernest had no restraint. He truly didn't. Horrible. They'll see that in the portrait too. <laughs> just like kind of, just like kind of sullenly, like <laughs> sits back in the couch and like starts glaring at the portrait. <laughs> what a portrait that it will be. 
What a portrait it'll be. I think that might be seen. <laughs> you, yeah. just sit there, you just sit there and both look at the portrait and just occasionally <laughs> mutter under our breaths. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. I would like a scene with Ms. Meg Wall, so I think this is a good timing. But who wants your sister? Um, yeah, where could I find Miss Meg Wall? Um, where was, uh, where was the Lord found? Imagine in his study, his said slumped over his desk. Is there, like, a library somewhere? Or, actually, maybe not. Um, actually, yeah, a library. I'm sure there is a library. In the nut park. Yeah, I might have like a magnifying glass and a string <laughs> in my hand and be studying it. Yeah, and I think uh, Lady Hazel walks into the library. Um, she's crying. She sees you and walks up to you and holds your hand. Oh, Miss Meg. Miss Meg, I'm so very sorry that I called you to the nut park. With such... I wish you could have met your father sooner. So badly timed. No, no, I... I am so glad to have you in my life. Thank you for all you have done to teach me about the family I never knew I had. Uh, well, actually, before that, let me quickly put away the things I was holding in my hand so that you don't notice before you <laughs> grab me. <laughs> but after that, I am probably not crying because I barely know the guy, but I am upset. Mm -hmm. and I can see that my, my uh, sister... Uh, my best friend is upset as well, and so I am also sad for that reason. It is so unfair that he, I got to grow up as practically his daughter, and you, who truly is his daughter, only just met him. He was such a wonderful man. He, he really did so much for me, you know? Because before he took me in, I was being raised by my parents, who are slightly less rich. It was... It was awful. You've, you've told me he, he sounded like such a kind man. Truly. And, and I, wish, I wish there was more time for me to get to know him. I cannot, I cannot understand uh, how, how this happened. It, it does seem very, very suspicious. Yeah, it, it is very sad indeed. It is very, very sad that he, he got... He died. Yes. I, I think anyone's untimely demise would be, would be awful, but this is, this is a monumental one in our lives, and I, I wish none of us had to see him like this. Yeah, it is, it is awful, isn't it? And, and, and we all... We all loved him so much, and and now and now he's dead. You you say that, but I've I've heard things like wasn't he in the process of a divorce? I feel like I've seen this in the in the papers. Oh yeah, the the whole whole thing. It's such awful business. A divorce? Why not a separation? Like good respectable people do. I. Did you ever hear anything about this from, from, from my father? Well, no, we didn't talk much business. We usually just went pony riding, or I did watercolors in the study while he was reading his letters, or, or sometimes we read together. He was such a good uncle to me. 
your your life was so blessed. I wish I had I had such times with him. And I wish oh, I had I you in my life. Oh, it's me too. so awful that we didn't get to meet earlier. How how did you know that that I was his daughter? Oh, you see, Lord Walnut was such a good man. He he knew he knew you were his daughter. You see, and he kept he did worry about you, and he kept um, letters on asking about you to your parents and your adopted parents. That is, and so. And so I, I, I might have read one of these letters once, and I figured I, I want a sister so badly. I, and you're bound to be my sister. I'm, I'm so glad you did. I just wish that uh, we had more time together before, before all this happened. Oh, yes. There's nothing I wished more for. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else? Yeah, I think I introduced all the topics. Mm-hmm. The main <laughs> plot points. Yeah, I think you went through the. Uh, I think you went through the. Uh... I think you went through the entire set of things that happened, and like, and like good friends often do. You just, you just, you just start at that point. Yeah, we got to do some supposition. <laughs> we need to work out. Uh, <laughs> you need to, you, you need to go meet somebody else. You know, establish where you are at all times. It's vitally important yeah. in a murder mystery. <laughs> mm. All right. Um... So we, we each get a turn? It, it's been a while yeah. for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we each get a turn, and then um, Lady Susan turns up, and then things get wild. I want to talk to Mrs. Mystica, or Miss Mystica Pitt. Uh, yeah. How do you pronounce it? Yeah, okay. Uh, Myristica. 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 She's also known as Miri to her friends, oh, and, uh, and Rita to Lord Walnut, because Lord Walnut could never get her name right. <laughs> so she she always harnessed a little a slight grudge. Mm, I don't know why you would imply that. But... <laughs> <laughs> and even if you and even and even if that were the case, I don't I don't see any reason why I would confirm that impression. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think. Uh... Mm-hmm. So who finds who? Because I think Mrs. Because I think Mrs. Pitt is also like kind of uh, is kind of restless in this sort of like uh, in this sort of I want to say vaguely hungover way, just kind of just oh. kind of wandering around in a in a, re, in a real mood. I am definitely intent on finding you because I have heard things about you, especially mm. the things I have read. Oh yeah, you've read a lot about me. Society, society papers love me, and by that I mean they love to ruin my life at every turn. <laughs> you say ruin, <laughs> but are they telling the truth? I mean, it can still be ruining your life it's, if it's the truth, you know? You, you speak mm-hmm. fact. You speak fact. Yeah, I don't see why. Anyway, let's, let's save this for the scene. I think you managed to find uh, Mrs. Pitt before she finds you, and I think when you when you catch her, I think she's kind of... I think you catch her just kind of looking around the corner, just, like, trying to see if, like, anybody's coming down the... Uh, trying to see if anybody's coming down the hallway, and I think when you when you approach, when she notices you, she's startled. She just kind of jumps a little bit and goes like, ah! Were you waiting for someone, perchance? Oh, no, no. Just keeping an eye out. I've, I've heard the lawyer is going to be around here later in the afternoon. Was there some reason you had to get to them before the reading of the will? I'm not sure I appreciate the phrase. Who are you, by the way? <laughs> she looks at you skeptically. Oh, well, I mean, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to imply anything. I'm, I'm new to uh, the, the manners of, um, of, of your, your man. 
manner. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, if that's I all right. Oh, that's all right. I'm not being very. I'm, my apologies. I lo I lost my composure there for a second. I'm 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 Mrs. Maristica Pitt. You may call me Mary. Of course, it's a it's it's a hard time for all of us. You understand. I apologize if I've. I apologize if I've, if I've maybe put you off a little bit with my, uh, with my. Uh, some people say I have a very sharp manner. It is, it's totally fine, Mrs. Mary. I've I've heard of your relations with Lord Walnut, and I oh? understand that you You've... were very close with my father at 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 a time. Oh yes, we we're very good friends. Yeah. So. Because you were such good friends, I've read a lot about you, and I've also heard that sometimes you have fainting spells. Well, if you well, if you must know, if, who doesn't have a good fainting spell now and again? It's uh, it's part of being. Uh, <laughs> if, if you're not having fainting spells fairly regularly, I dare say you're not living a very exciting life. But uh, that. And, and since you've read so much about me in the papers, as you say, she can narrow her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must know, I've, I do have a fainting spell now and again. Why do you ask? Well, I found this uh, rather interesting vial near the body, and you... it seems to be, as, as the adopted child of a uh, apothecaris, I, I, I noticed the smell, and smells strangely like a certain French imported. Uh, ah, I see. <laughs> uh, could, 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 you per, could you perhaps show me this vial? Maybe I, maybe I might recognize it. I, 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 of course, am very well versed in certain, uh, in, cer in certain things of this nature, so. Could I? Could you perhaps? Could you perhaps produce it? Um. Actually, before I do, do you perhaps have um a vial on your own person? I, I, it's not like I um distrust you in any way. Absolutely not. I would never do such a thing. I just wanted to compare. Oh well. I well. You know. It's. If you must know, I do take a I do take a medicine to a, a, a sort of tonic to keep myself in uh, to keep myself in keep myself in good order. Keep myself, you know, it's it, it, it's sometimes hard to comport yourself. Absolutely, um, I imagine it must be stressful in in this kind of uh, and in France environment. Have, and in France, they have such incredible medicines. They do, they do. Your your husband, he. Is the one that supplies you with these? Oh no no no, Mister Pitt couldn't. Uh, Mister Pitt is not a resourceful man in the sense I have. Uh, I have my own. I have my own connections. Oh, uh, of course, yeah. Well, if you and I, and she and she just kind of uh, she she just kind of searches around on her person and is just like uh, like. Uh, <laughs> And like, and, and like, does actually pull out a half full vial of uh, of which of something you would recognize as strychnine. <laughs> <laughs> Very familiar looking vial of that. <laughs> you said you found. You said mm -hmm. you found. You said you found another vial. You say because I have because I did misplace one at one point. It it, it looked a lot like this one. Well, I I also take out my vial, and it it it's got a ripped label, but the shape and coloring of it is exactly the same, and it's completely empty. Goodness, that's yes. It it does seem strange that someone must have had, someone must have really been in need of a, someone must have really been in need of a tonic. Anyway, I'll be having that back now if you don't mind. No, 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 no. I. Miss, uh, Mrs. Mary, I, I believe that the, the lawyers might want to take a look at this. I can't wait, avoid wait, wait. that information, <laughs> but, um, you know. Listen, listen, you don't need to show a lawyer anything. So you say, so you say. I, I feel that, uh... My father's un untimely death um, could potentially benefit you, 
How? Um, How could it benefit me? I don't know. I, that is my question at the moment. I would love to know, like, if, if it did, why, why such an interesting vial would be found near his body? Such a... I, I, have, I have no clue what you're talking... I, 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 don't, I honestly don't like what you're implying, Miss... What was your name again? Miss Wall. My, my relatives are the Walls. My adopted parents. The Wall. Hmm. You're... She, she's gonna, she's gonna carefully looks, she's gonna carefully looks you over and goes, "Why are, you, why are you here, Miss Wall?" Well, I have only found my father recently. I, I've only known Your of father? my father recently. Yes, yes, the late Lord Walnut, which is well, exactly well, why I want late... to know so much about you. Well, hang on, oh. your your father's. And she, she's just like, she's like has a, she just like becomes a little unsteady on her feet. It's like this, like this kind of answer. Your father was, your father was Lord. Your father was Lord. How old are you? I, I am about twenty. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Could, I, could you, could you, could you hand me that vial, please? I, I, I would prefer not to. I. Absolutely, do not want to make I, any uh, accusations. Oh no! I, I, I'm, so, I, I'm, I, 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 I'm very sorry. I don't. I don't feel well. I need to retire for a, for a, for a. I, I'm very sorry, Miss Wall. I can't really. Could. Oh, she just like <laughs> stumbles a little <laughs> bit and like steps <laughs> back and just like just like just like walks off and like retires to her bedroom. <laughs> I'll mention like as you're uh, walking away that. Uh, it seems that you were well involved with my father about twenty some years ago. <laughs> she like she like waves her hand in the air and murmurs something you don't quite hear. And it's just like she like, 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 like opens she like opens the door, gives you a long haunted look, and just like just like slams the door behind her. Well, that went well, I think. <laughs> She's a wreck. <laughs> Okay, um, All right, um yeah. Yeah. Cindy. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna do a scene with uh Lady Mac and uh Lady Hazel. So where would um yeah, Lady Mac find you? Um, yeah. Alice? Um I think at a maybe at a drawing room, but she's just laying on a fainting couch, not, not quite fainted. I think, uh, yeah. Uh, Lady Mac just walks in and it's just like, "Oh dear, you heard the dreaded news." Oh, oh, Auntie. What shall happen now? Oh, it's... I don't know yet, it's... Well, I think maybe the... The lawyers will think that there's foul play uh, within his untimely death. And I suspect oh, that it's foul no. play within his untimely death. Yes, I... It pains me as well to hear such a thing. We surely shall be allowed to... Keep believing at Nut Park, right? Oh yes, of course. Uh, I mean, obviously, unless they uh, unless they accuse us, but I don't think either of us would do such a thing, would we? No, and and uh. and of course, after we are allowed to keep believing, we'll also be given property of it, will we not? I mean, we have <sighs> lived. This is our ancestral home. We have lived here. For so long. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I have lived here uh, ever since I married young uh, Lord Walnut. It, I know I uh, I wasn't born here, but it feels like my ancestral home anyway. She stared. And although up. I was born 
born on the slightly less rich house of my father, I couldn't bear parting with this park with has served me so many good years. Oh, truly has, truly has, dear. I think it's served both of us well, and I hope that we can continue that. Yeah. Yeah, are you not worried that, you know, with the, with the divorce you might be left out of? Well, I'm such fake friends with the rest of the family, I'm sure they would allow me to live here uh, still. Wouldn't you think, wouldn't you say so? Yes, yes, I, I would say so. Uh, that's good Is that it? you say so, dear. Yeah, of course. If Lord Walnut was was almost my father, then you surely is as good as a mother to me, right? Uh, yes, yes, my dear. And we'll, we'll all uh. stick together and and live through this rough, rough times. So... Oh, so so sad. Yeah. Because we we both loved him so much. We we truly did. And I think cries a bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm also crying. I think she's like, um, yeah. Uh, dear Ernest always had such a fun part of you, Hazel. I'm sure you would be one of the. I don't know how do you say this. Top candidates in this wheel. <laughs> Beneficiaries. Top of beneficiaries in its will. He did love me so much, didn't he? Oh, he was so good to me. He truly he was. Me almost like his daughter, even though I'm just his niece. And he, he did and he did have a daughter after all, so he did. So he... <laughs> I think like Mag uh, Mag like yeah. surprised like what? <laughs> crying more yeah he he did have a daughter after all and he he chose to raise me instead and and oh he was so very good to me and she starts crying and crying <laughs> and she isn't being coherent anymore <laughs> but yeah he did have a daughter after all and almost 20 years of age the poor thing and didn't know uh, 20 if... years <laughs> And didn't know her father at all, but 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 he kept an eye on on her. Oh, and he was so very good. Uh, oh, <laughs> I think like sits down on a chair after this, and it's just like, ah. <laughs> um, and yeah, um, I think maybe unseen there, just like, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I think so. Because I think there's a uh, because I think a bell rings, and, uh, and 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 you know, Lord Walnut's lawyer is here. He has arrived. He uh, he came as soon as he could. And he has brought along Lady Susan, and as as, uh, as people file into the manor, the artist is still like uh, I think the artist has come back from breakfast and is continuing to work on the painting, seemingly unperturbed by everything else that has happened. <laughs> And there is a, uh, I think a lot of, uh, I think there's a lot, I think there's a lot of hubbub as like, uh, as Lady Susan goes through the, uh, as Lady Susan is like familiarized with the facts of like what happened here. She just kind of, uh, and I think we are all assembled. Uh, like it takes, like a, like a, like a uh, it takes the longest for Mrs. Pitt to be gathered up and like uh, gathered up from her room and brought over because she, she is genuinely in kind of a state. <laughs> oh, I sure do hope the portrait looks good I, I my eyes don't look too puffy do they because i have been crying for for like uh, the whole day now and and if i look puffy in the portrait oh they'll be so horrible i'm sure the I, I I talk for it here. Oh, uh, sorry oh i say uh the, i'm sure the painter can adjust for it here uh I, well i i bring her um my uh What's it called? A, a napkin? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're so kind to me. It almost makes me want to cry even more. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Um, <laughs> you, uh, we, we, we are, we're, we're good sisters and you, you shouldn't need to be too much more sad about our father. I think Miss uh, Lady Mac like looked over suspiciously when you say that. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Pitt is like slumped on the couch on like the opposite side of uh, the opposite <laughs> side of Lady Lady Mac. She just like, like has her hand on her forehead and just just like uh, just like having a real bad time as uh, as Lady Susan has gathered us all in a uh, in a grim parody of how we are arranged on the portrait. <laughs> There's a few other people here, but they don't really matter. There's, <laughs> I think the lawyer introduces in, introduces Lady Susan as the investigator who you know he's brought in to you know, make sure everything is uh, you know she, make sure everything is absolute cricket about this uh, about this entire uh, about this entire affair. It's a dreadful little thing that's happened to Lord Walnut, and it's uh, and this is just a this is just a precautionary measure. You know he, he's sure there's been no foul play and there's no need, but just in case. Lady Susan has come here to offer her uh, offer her qualified judgment of uh, of the situation, and there is uh, and I think and I think Lady Susan I think Lady Susan sums up the case in ways that we don't necessarily need because we were all here is just to get us all on the same page. So Lord Walnut has been murdered. She believes poisoned most likely despite the optimism of your despite the optimism of your lawyer it seems clear that some sort of uh, it seems clear that some sort of foul play has occurred which means that and this may modify the terms of the will and she is here to and she's here to make sure that uh, she's here to make sure that the truth of the matter comes out and indeed she believes that foul play has occurred and well she would not want to make an accusation as of yet she met, she says that uh, it does indeed look, it does indeed, and she singles out the and she singles out the four of us, and says it does seem that it does seem that uh, many people here had the motive and opportunity, and at the moment, and at the moment we I'm, and at the moment she must admit that, uh, well it is uh, it is Mrs. Pitt's story that she found that she find that she finds the most interesting. Why is she here? You know, why is she here? What is uh, what is going on here? What a strange, what a strange thing that uh, what a strange thing that a woman like that should be here at such a time in such a it's a, in such a sensitive place in such a sensitive place and time. And you know, is she is she feeling all right? It seems as though she is. Uh, would she perhaps like a little more of that tonic? And I think, uh, and I think it, I think it essentially proceeds along those lines. And Mrs. Pitt is very upset, storms out of the room. There is a, uh, there is a whole, uh, like a whole situation, uh, like a whole situation unfold. I think somebody has to help her up before she st storms out of the room. <laughs> Not because she needs it; she just wants to be helped up to, you know, accentuate her vulnerability. <laughs> Does she come back? Uh, I think she has to be. Re I think she'll have to be retrieved during the interview phase, mm. because I think she. Because I think she can't just sit here and listen to all of these accusations being thrown her. Of her a perfectly innocent woman. <laughs> her well, a perfectly I, innocent I woman. Like damn to... what the papers say. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to clear my throat and be like, uh. Lady Susan, I've I've heard much of your uh, renown and respect your opinion. Is there um, can I speak with you for a moment? Certainly, I was hoping to speak with you forthwith. We should, should I think we should retire to a separate room for this. We would not want to. We would not want to. It's 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 part of the investigative process. You understand. I will be speaking to all four of you. In time. However, however, Miss Wall, your your presence here is quite uh, you, you, your pre your presence will be much appreciated in the second parlor. <laughs> Actually, no, in the conservatory. Ah, uh, yes. It's yes. always good. It's always good to, to conduct these things among plants. It gives a sense of discretion, you know. And discretion, Absolutely. you must agree, Absolutely. is very important. Yes, they they won't. They won't um, talk to the papers. Yeah. 
And now we have ended the novel chapter and we begin the interview phase. So in this one, Lady Susan, who'll be played by, uh, I have a facilitator, so I'm supposed to be playing Lady Susan, but we have four players, so I'm also playing a major character, because with three, because Lady Susan does need four characters. So with Lady Susan, this is kind of a character we can share between us. I'll be playing her primarily as like the question asker and the facilitator, but obviously for Mrs. Pitt, somebody else will have to play, <laughs> play Lady Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Turns. <clears throat> yeah, so how the interview phase works is that Lady Susan interviews each uh, each suspect, and also all of the players submit one question that they are interested in hearing the that they are interested in hearing the suspect answer. All players accept the suspect yeah. themselves. And also, chat can ask a question of their own of Miss Meg Wall, and Lady Susan will ask it. I as your proxy will uh, I as your proxy will <laughs> will ask it of Miss McWall. So I think it'd be fun if we each take turn as the person as Lady Susan. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then maybe the questions that us as player characters want to ask um, the person being interrogated is put in chat or do we put that in the discord uh, yeah the questions we want to ask will be putting in uh, we'll be putting in our own secret private discord chat i guess okay just so we have them in the, just so we have them in an easily referenced place and we don't have to be like uh we have to one of us ask, one of us asks the question cool. and then the other one repeats mm -hmm. the question okay. and also and also yeah Chad, if you have a uh, if you have a cool question you want to ask of uh, ask of somebody, just post it in the just, just post it in chat, and if we uh, or second somebody else's question if you like, and then maybe list like who you want to ask that to because we will be changing characters. We will be changing characters. Okay, so does Alice, Cindy, or HB have any questions for? Be... Yes, I think I have a question, which is, uh, which is, could you, could you relay in your own words what your relation is to Lord Walnut and uh, and his assorted relatives, as well as why you are why you are in this in this manner? I was invited by my uh, bosom friend, uh, Lady Hazel Walnut. I. I feel she is my adopted sister, as she was the one who told me of my, uh, what's it called? Uh, like, when you're, when you're the child, illegitimate? No. Yeah, illegitimate is, uh... <laughs> yeah? Okay. I am the illegitimate child of a Lord Walnut. I believe, um, somewhere in... Lord Walnut's uh, records, uh, Lady Hazel has found um, records asking of my uh, health and growth. Mm hmm. I see. And Lord Wal was Lord Walnut in was Lord Walnut informed that did Lord Walnut invite you, or was it or was it someone else? No. No, it was it was Miss Walnut, and and I'm so grateful that she wanted to introduce me to, like, someone she felt of as her father, but it was just such... <laughs> such an untimely decision that... Untimely? You hear, you hear a lot of that in connection with Lord Walnut. <laughs> Actually, um, before we move on to the next question, I, I wanted to show you something that I... I was the first to discover my father's body, and it, it really traumatized me, but I immediately noticed that there was this uh, strong-smelling vial by his body. I did not mean to um, mess with the scene of the crime, but I was afraid somebody else might uh, remove this evidence, and I present to Lady Susan this bottle of... I, I tell her I believe it's strychnine, and it matches exactly what Mrs. Mristica Pitt 
berries on her. <laughs> Except for the torn label. Yeah, I think uh, I think she smells the vial and says, "Interesting." Woof. This, this does this does confirm certain impressions. Do you mind if I keep this? Absolutely, absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> she kind of puts it away in the little bag she's carrying around. Make make sure no no grubby hands <laughs> get their hands on it. Uh, Mrs. Mystica Pitt was very eager to um, switch or, or to um, <clears throat> handle my bottle as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, by the way, she she doesn't like stick her nose in the vial itself. She like does the proper. Uh, she she like does the proper <laughs> like. Uh, like uh, like the way a chemist does it, where they just kind of they just kind of use their hand to just waft the scent into their uh, waft the scent in their direction, so they're not just like <laughs> just like huffing. It's mostly poison. empty. It's it's empty. It's empty. It shouldn't it shouldn't affect you so strongly. Hmm. You seem to be something of a you seem to be something of a detective yourself, Miss Wall. If, if no. I understand correctly, you were the one who discovered Lord Walnut's body to begin with. Yeah, I I was very traumatizing, seeing as how I wanted to make a better introduction to him. I see. She, she like uh, she, this gives her pause for a second. You, you were investigating. Was that what you were doing when you discovered his body? No, I I knew he was in the study, as uh, Lady Hazel had told me, and. Is that, um, I forgot, there was, like, something about, there was something about, like, tokens you can ask to give to other people, right? Yeah, resolve like if you tokens. want to make something a, a, a truth. So is it okay if I say that, um, Alice, is it okay if I say that it was Hazel that told me he was in the study when I was looking for him? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, so um, I, I wanted to introduce myself to him, and uh, Lady Hazel told me where to find him. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't planning on doing any investigating. I wanted to, uh, I came in my best clothes uh, that, that, my, that um, Lady Hazel uh, provided for me, and I wanted to say hello. Fascinating. Hey, thank you for being so candid with me. People are often people are often reticent to mention why they are why they were in the vicinity of a why they were in the vicinity of a suddenly dead man. I appreciate that you are I appreciate you being straightforward with me here. I don't believe I have anything to hide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think Do you think Lord Walnut? Uh, do you think Lord Walnut may have uh, may have had some Interesting you? Do you think that, for example, you may have been featured in the late Lord's Will? Oh, absolutely not. I there is no way. Um, he he did provide a bit for my adopted family. I've heard, um, and did uh, take to pay for my studies, but I don't know that he considered me his daughter. Not like um, the Miss. Uh, miss, uh, like the Lady Hazel. He must have absolutely doted on her and loved her so much, I am sure everything was in her name. Certainly, certainly. Hmm. Well, as one detective to, as one detective to another, what do you think ha Let's suppose... Let's suppose that Mrs. Pitt committed this murder. How, how do you think, uh, how do you think she would have done it? I, I cannot um, make these assumptions, even though there is evidence. Please, uh, are... strongly leading to uh, Mrs. Pitt, but I suspect that perhaps um, she may be in one of Lord Walnut's earlier versions of the will, and for that reason, she may have put some of her strychnine in his drink. Although I did not see any cup at the scene of the crime. 
that is also, um, I don't know if that's also a resolve token. Is that something I can just make up myself? Uh, I think you could make that up yourself. Okay. And she says, hmm, hmm. Very, this has been a very interesting conversation, Miss Wall. And let me see. Is, is there perhaps a, is there perhaps another? Is there perhaps a? Uh, <laughs> I think which of us have some other questions. <laughs> oh, hmm. How do you feel about? Uh, back to Lord Walnut for a second. He has not. He has. So from what you've been what you've been telling me, he does not seem to have been an especially a communicative pattern parent. He has not he he has not made an effort to reach out to you. In fact it was Lady Hazel who brought you here. Yes, and I am so grateful that she did. How do you feel about how do you feel about your uh, how do you feel about your uh, your father perhaps not having an interest in reaching out to you? I am a bit saddened, but I understand that um the occurrence of my birth may have been shrouded in quite a mystery. Uh, I personally would love to know who my mother is. Not if she's a murderess, but I, I would like to know of my um, birth and lineage. Uh, and so I, I understand his reasoning, and I, I understand that he may have put all that love that he may have had for me into his relationship with Lady Hazel. A comforting thought. Well, this has been, this is this has been a this has been a very illuminating interview. Hey, uh, thank you, Miss Wall. Could you perhaps could you perhaps go out there and send the uh, and send one of the one of one, one of your delightful relations my way? Um. Oh, yes, of course. So, would it be cool if, like, the person that's interviewed plays Lady Susan next? Yeah. Um, let's go in a circle. Uh, Lady Hazel on it. So that would be Alice? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Any questions? Yeah, I think when... Lady Hazel is called to the conservatory. She's crying. She throws herself at the armchair very dramatically. I, I think maybe um, Miss Meg Wall has to, like, slightly carry you <laughs> to the conservatory. Yeah. Like, like you, you rest on her arm or something <laughs> on the way to the conservatory. Hmm. So then um, Lady Susan probably uh, asks, um, asks you how you are. Uh, it, it seems uh, seems that the late Lord Walnut um, and you had a very strong relationship. Uh, oh, oh yes, I'm, I'm terribly, I'm terribly sad. I can't believe someone would murder him. He he was like a father to me. Yeah, I've it's, heard. Yeah, it's you, terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, yes, this is definitely a um, horrible occurrence. With a horrible and, um, occurrence. And, we, we hope and you're saying he, he might have been murdered. Oh, no, 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 no. But there, we have to check every box and make sure that there is no suspicion. I do hope he wasn't murdered. I, I, I couldn't handle the thought of it. He was such a kind man. Yes. Uh, and so, so we have heard. Um, so, you, you style yourself as Lady Hazel Walnut. And... You are set to inherit the Lord's title. How much do you believe you will receive in the Lord's will? Oh, he, he was so kind. You, you see, uh, my dear uncle didn't have any, any hairs of his own, so he, he took 
after me and I took after his surname and, and title and to as a homage, you see, because I my father is it it does pain to say me, but my father is slightly less rich than his older brother. And and I had a very different cult upbringing because we didn't have we didn't have as many rooms in our house, and and I did have to share with with my sister. So it it was it's very difficult for me to talk about it. I see, I see. So so, so, so it... yes, I I I do hope I do hope I. I get to at least still keep living on Walnut Park, if not as its rightful heir. And, and yeah, I do hope I get to keep living in these houses, which I have loved so much. Indeed, indeed. It, it seems it seems only fair. Well then, um, why why did you decide to, uh, as as I've heard from uh, Miss Magwal herself, why did you invite her to this family portrait instead of introducing her to uh, Lord Walnut in a more discreet manner? Oh, she did tell you that, didn't she? Oh, she she's such such a, a kind young miss. I. Um, it's a pain that uh, we didn't get to live as sisters for um while my uncle was still alive well i i did think that that a moment where where there would be more people in the house would be it would be better to introduce her you see because if i wouldn't know if he truly wanted to talk to her or or if he wouldn't so so if if there was more people at least uh, it would be less likely to to be a scene, and and you see because our family has has shown up on my name name is never involved on it. I assure to you, but our family has been involved on on the papers on on the papers um, quite a while now. So so I thought it would be better to to be more discreet about it. That seems fair, that seems fair. Um, well then, we definitely don't want to suspect any wrongdoing in this case. Uh, have, you, have you heard of any illnesses the Ward Walnut might have had? Or, or never mind, never mind. Um, if he was murdered, how, who do you think might have done it and how, how might? that have happened i think she just starts crying if if, if he was murdered i i don't I, I can't imagine and she's just crying and crying and crying because he was such a and, and, not a not not even enough yeah and no no way to answer the question. Oh, very good, very good. Are there any questions for Lady Hazel from chat? Uh, if not, um, maybe another one or two from us. Hmm. How How is your relationship with uh, mm. the the lady Meg Alna, because it it seems that um, while you may receive the full part of the inheritance, she has not actually divorced the late Lord Walnut. Oh um, yeah, so I've been told. Um, I will say it has been quite a long matter on the the papers for a, a divorce not to have happened. Um, but but you see, 
um, my uncle was like a father to me, and and I'm also very close with with my aunt, and and you see it back in, in my house where where I grew up. My first few years, so rough of my life, uh, I did have my mother and my sisters, and I am I am used to to having some female company, and I did. I do consider Lady Maga a confidant and a very close friend of mine. You see, she has always given me such good advice, and and a young lady does need some advice from a maternal figure of some sort. Hmm. So, so you are you trust her very much, and. It does oh, I do. I do. Not bother you that perhaps um, the bulk of the inheritance might not be yours. Well, with with all this this long drawn out divorce, I'm I'm sure Lord Walnut was aware of it, and and had it in mind. Well, while, while writing his will, but but if my aunt has to inherit a a, a bit of it, I, I suppose it wouldn't be terrible because because she is a very good woman and and she she surely does deserve like a, a a little bit of it. Um, you you seem to have a a, a very giving heart. Um, could you call in the next uh, next person, please? Oh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Who? The next person has to be Lady Mag, right? Because then we'll close off with. Mm -hmm. We'll close off with the prime suspect. <laughs> I mean, the prime suspect ran away. <laughs> Well, she ran away, but she she hasn't she hasn't left the house. This is the Regency. You don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they invented billiards so that people could walk around a single room. People stay indoors. Yeah, these people do need these people desperately need exercise. But there's the only way to make them do it is to like, invent some silly games like croquet or something to get them out on the lawn for once. <laughs> I feel like Mrs. Morskopit's version of exercise is just a lot of fainting. It must take a lot of effort getting up <laughs> from all that fainting. Oh yeah, there's a reason why she there's a reason why she's on where she's on medicinal qualities of some strychnine at most a lot, a lot of a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, that being said, Lady Mag? Yeah. And then Alice plays Lady Susan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think Lady Mag just walks in, like, wiping away the tears of her eyes uh, with the... Well, first I'd like to say my condolences for the death of your late husband. Oh, thank you, thank you. Although I'm inclined, thing. such a horrible thing. Although I'm inclined to believe, if the papers are to be believed and the other witness too, um, that you were in the process of divorcing him. Is that right? Oh yes. Um, dear Ernest thought that there were some reasons why we should get divorced. I disagreed with this, but. You know, he decided to go through with that and, you know, um, pull both our names through the mouth, I guess. What are, if you don't mind sharing, uh, what are the reasons of the divorce? Oh, well. And you... Want to say something more? Or... No, yeah, go for it. Okay, I think she's just like, oh, well, I've, I'm sure you've read the papers and what horrible things have been said about me in there and about the Ernest, of course. 
Um, well, let's just say that there might have been some... It is rumored that there has been some adultery going on within our marriage. Um, that, you know, both of us might have had some extra uh, marital relationships, um, which is obviously pure speculation, but... Yeah, that's at least the reasoning Ernest gave when talking to the courts. And do you... Oh. No, I was just trying to think of a question. Mm. You did not agree that divorce was the best course of action. Oh, oh no, of course not. You could have just separated my, like uh, everybody does. It's the dignified thing to do in a situation such as this. And what do you believe is next in life for you, Ms. Meg, um, now that you are, in a sense, a free woman? Do oh. you have any plans? Oh, well, of course. Um very dependent on what happens next with um, the inheritance and such. Um, I, of course, hope to inherit uh, the not manor, um, which would be, you know, a suitable place for me to live the rest of my life. Um, of course, if dear uh, Lady Hazel inherits it, I hope that I will continue to be in a good graces and continue to live here. Um, I do not know what will be next for me after all of this is over. I'm just too struck to, with grief about my dearest earnest to think about that. I think quite yeah. a bit more. <laughs> of course, of course. And speaking about your niece, uh, Lady Hazel does seem to hold you in high regard, what do you, how would you describe your relationship with her? Oh, she's as a child to me. You know, the, we have a lot in common, actually. We both grew up in oh, such poor households. I mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, this manor has, you know, a sensible number of rooms, about perhaps 60 or so, but Oh, I grew up in a house with only 40, and it was such a, such, such a harsh life. It is, um, so I can totally see what Lady Hazel has gone through in her childhood, and, you know, I feel for her, and that's why I've taken to her as, as my own child, really, as my own daughter. That's very honorable to you, no? Not every woman would do such a thing. Um, and if there is, which we are led to in believe there is indeed, uh, wrongdoing in this case, um, who do, would you suspect and, and why? I wouldn't want to speak ill of anybody, of course, but, well, if you're so insistent, um... I do feel like my 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 cousin, uh, Miss Marissa Catpitt, might be involved. Um, I don't know if you've heard the rumors, but well, there is a rumor that uh, Marissa and their Ernest were involved at some point um, during our the early stages of our marriage, um, before our marriage even. But, um, and she might be, you know, still sour towards him for marrying me instead of her, but uh, I suspect it must all be rumors, right? My cousin wouldn't do something like that. Well, thank you very much for cooperating with me. I know it must be hard on such a difficult time. Yes. But I think that 
is all I need from you. Unless the chat has any questions, I think it's been quiet. It is not a bad, not a good time for most of folks. Role plus bond. <laughs> but... Yeah. Yeah, if, if you would be so kind to bring in your cousin, I'd like to talk to her next. Oh, yes, of course. Like, you know, blows her nose a bit and then goes out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, calls in Miss Mary's like a pimp. Yeah, she is. Uh, she has come, and yeah, Mary comes in, and she is. Uh, she is like, uh, she's standing upright. She's she's trying to stand tall. It's uh, it's a uh, it's it's a little bit of an effort, but she comes into the conservatory and immediately is a little overwhelmed by the uh, with a very planty by the very planty smell in here, and sits down in front of Lady Susan and says, uh, and 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 just kind of just kind of silently looks at her. <laughs> um. Hi, um, Maristica Pitts, was it right? Yes, Mrs. Maristica Pitts. Uh, Mrs. Maristica Pitts, of course. I am um, a married woman, you see. Ah, uh, yes. Well, um, Miss Maristica, actually I wanted to speak to you about the murder that has occurred. And first of all, I want to know what was your relationship with um, the late uh, Lord Walnut? Well, um, we are fond family friends, you could say, and the, with, with the, with all the appropriate quotation, I'm, you've talked to, you've talked to my beloved relations at this point, so I'm sure they've, I'm sure they've laid out the entire sort of story, but I'll, I will, uh, I, I will say it again, just, just for the record, I don't, it's, you can, you can look at the court transcripts, I do appear there, we were, Myself and Ernest were, we were, I, not to put too fine a point on it, I was his mistress for quite a long time. But was before, well, I wasn't his mistress originally, it was only after he, it was only after he married my beloved cousin, you understand how it is, it was a, uh, marriage is a certain kind of contract, but yes, it was, we were, we were involved, so to speak. And quite close, I must say. Yes. Um, so, if there was any possible wrongdoing in this case, who do you suspect might be responsible for it, and why? Oh, oh, you know, this house is a pit of vipers. I'm sure you've detected this yourself, being a, being such a talented investigator as yourself. I it honestly could have been any of them. I miss it. Uh, I mean, uh, honestly, I suspect it might have been uh, it might have been the newly minted Miss Mag. Why do you, why do you think so? She's she's so bitter about I mean, she's so bitter about being divorced. There is a uh, there is a there is a oh that Miss Mag. Sorry. <laughs> oh yes. Well, the other. Honestly, can I be candid with you? Of course, of course. <laughs> I have a strong suspicion, and she leans in like very discreetly, <laughs> like even lowering her voice further. I suspect that Miss Megwall might be my daughter. Your daughter? <gasps> yes, I. The age is the age is about right. There is a, uh, uh, well, my, myself and Mister Walnut, we've been we've been involved for a very long time now. There is a lot of. There's rather a there's rather a long history there, and well, let's just say at a at a certain point in our acquaintance, I had to take a long holiday. Hmm. And hey. it was a holiday I returned from alone, thankfully. <laughs> I see. I see. And I think she may, and and honestly, see, and honestly, seeing her, I. You know how she, you know how she found the body and found the vial and found all these sorts. I, I, I don't know. If, is she taking revenge on me? It's, it's, I, I have no idea why she would try to pin this murder on me. Did she, did she do it? I, I, I mystify. I do, I do not know what's going on. I think. I, Interesting. Well, speaking about the poison and the vial. 
Um, it seems that uh, the poison that was used to murder uh, Lord Walnut seems to be very similar to the uh, medical stuff. How do you pronounce it? Strychnine. Strychnine that you uh, possess yourself. I ah, yes, the, f the matter of the fresh. And Miss Bedwall show, show you the vial too, yes? It's. Uh... She did. I think, like, oh. pulls off the file to share you. Could I have it back? It, it, it upsets me. That have it back. This is yours, then. It is. It is. It is mine, yes. It is. Uh, lady, lady Susan, I, I know this looks very bad, but I must assure you. If I were to poison dear Ernest, not that I would, but if I would, you have to believe I would hide the vial better than this. That is a, um, not a very convincing defense, uh, Miss Maristic Fitch. I, 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 somebody, somebody is doing this to me. This is, this is... They're all against me. You have to understand this. I, I feel like I'm going insane here. The strychnine... I, I, I'm taking this... Uh, he wouldn't even... He wouldn't even... The, the whole file. This thing is so expensive. They, they used the whole file. This is not... It's, it's not even a good poisoning. I, you would have thought it differently then, you'd say? Well, I, I, I mean, not that I, not that I, not that I would. But listen, for all the bad blood between Ernest and myself, what could I possibly gain from his from his demise? I, my name, my, my name is Mud. I am, I am, I am, spite, I suppose. I could, I, but even then, I don't. I love the man. You understand? It is. Scandal drove us apart, but I truly believe we were meant for each other. It was, you say. Uh, we. It, it could it could have been so it could have been so good between us if we hadn't, if well you know if we hadn't made all those mistakes together. <laughs> I have to believe I have to believe that, I, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I it, it was certainly not it was certainly not me who did it. It was not, uh, I would, I would never hurt Ernest this way. Well, he meant the world to me. We suppose it wasn't you. Who do you believe? would have the greatest reason to frame you for this murder. Hmm. If I had to name one, and it, it is difficult. This house is a nightmare. It would... I would say Miss Meg. He, she is... Uh, Miss Meg... Lady Meg Walnut Hickory, to be clear. She is... You know, we're cousins, and there's been... And, and you'd think... If there's bad blood between myself and Lady Hazel, and, and believe me, I, I despise Lady Hazel. She is she is one of the worst people I've ever met. Oh, do I you have nothing good to say about her? Hmm? Oh, why would you have such a hate with her, sir? She is. She 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 is a she is a little viper who has charmed her way into who's well not even charmed she, she she's cried her way into into she's cried her way into Ernest's good graces living in a house with few they keep going on about the rooms and the and and the wealth and so forth it's it's tasteless frankly they are she is she I we simply do not get I do not mean to say that she I I don't think she has it in her to murder anyone she is. Uh, I, I believe she would. Uh, I believe she would. I believe she would dissolve into a pile of snot and tears before that would happen. Now, but <laughs> Lady 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 Walna Hickory, she is not to be trifled with. It wasn't. It, it wasn't by. It wasn't. But it wasn't by accident that, that Ernest was driven into. That we were. Ernest was driven into my arms, so to speak. It was not a. We. She is. She is a piece of work. Let me tell you. I could tell you so many stories. We don't have the time for that, but we I could tell you so many stories. Oh. Barely any of it made into the divorce transcript. Why do you <laughs> think Ernest div Ernest was divorcing her? It wasn't just adultery. Adultery is just what you legally need to start the divorce. It was it was it was a hell for him living with her. Mm. 
Did he tell you that? Or said something he surmised yourself? Well, let's... Let's just say... I mean, I mean, we've already laid it out all in front of us. We, Ernest is, uh, Ernest has been my confidant for a long time, and even if we aren't, uh, even if we aren't involved, so to speak, since the divorce and all that, there was, there was still a, uh, we still regularly corresponded. Like, uh, I, do, I don't have the letters because I sensibly disposed of them, but there is, you know, let me tell you, the things in those letters. Of course. I have here on, on from ch the bitch chat. <laughs> uh, a bit back. Um, uh, yeah. Are you currently or were you at any point involved in the untimely Lord's will? Uh, Miss Pitt. Mrs. Pitt. Well, he did always say that there would be a small consideration thrown my way, but uh, there is. I, I honestly do not expect it to be much. There is. Uh... It would be it would be good. I th I think he felt guilty about uh, compromising my and Mister Pitt's marriage <laughs> in the way that he did with the divorce. He he may have he may have said there would be. Uh, he may have said at one point that he he said he would leave me a little something, which which frankly I did not appreciate. But he could not be talked out of it. But did you not appreciate that it was a little, or that you got anything at all? I don't like him giving me a nod in the will. That seemed... Give it, giving money to your mistress in your will is so gauche. <laughs> even if you may have... Even if you may have uh, impoverished her. Of, of course, yes. <laughs> you see where I'm coming from, right? It's, it's, yeah. it's so pathetic. Imagine... Uh... Im imagine living... Uh, imagine living like that. <sighs> She just, she just like, just like huffs and just like uh, looks in the distance, lets a trail off. <laughs> yeah. What a day it is for Miss Pitt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for this interview, then. Right. Oh, thank goodness! I am, I am, I am incensed, Lady Susan. I can't believe somebody would per perpetrate an injustice like that. I, I. A very maligned person, as I'm sure you must be able to tell by now, that they would try and pin a murder on me. They? <laughs> well, you know, they. Well, you they? Know, the, the, the loose they. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, thank you for your time. Um, I wasn't I wasn't friends with any of these women, but the, you know, the one of them might even the, the one of them might the one of them might kill Ernest and then try and then try to blame me for it. The gall. I, I, I understand their logic. I just I just do not approve of it morally. You understand? I understand. Well, um, would you please you and all the other suspects remain within the estate for? The duration of the investigation, it makes my work a lot easier, and, um... Uh, well, well, Lady Susan, I couldn't leave if I wanted to. My whole body feels like a rolling fainting spell. <laughs> I, I need to, I need to, I need to retire to rest. And, and she's, and she's about to go off about another thing, but then, <laughs> then, 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 decides, then decides against yep. it. It's not going to help. <laughs> exactly, it's like Lady Susan is trying to usher you out, and then... <laughs> There's more and more things that Mrs. Pitt has has come to mind. I feel like She's Mrs. Pitt. So Pitt's angry. <laughs> yeah. All right. Should we um, take a break before the? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... We are now entering the epistolary phase, which where we'll be mm -hmm. where we'll be sending one to two notes per person, to, and just kind of uh, and and maybe send letters to other people, that kind of thing. And yeah, there is uh, like letters to people outside the manor. That that's also a viable thing to do. But before we do, but before we do, we are going to be taking a let's say how much of a break do we want? Ten minutes. Uh, I'm yeah, fine with that. Yeah, 10 minute break. Sounds good. We'll be back here at... Let's make it 13 minutes at 5-2. Okay. 
see you back in a bit.
It's her back. Aha! We return. Ah. <sighs> It's a beautiful day in Walnut. It's a beautiful day in Walnut Manor, but before that, it's a beautiful night in Walnut Manor, and all of our characters are. <laughs> actually, we're about. Actually, actually, we're back on stream, and we are raising money for Trans Lifeline. And we are making some. We are making some progress here. And there's a and there's a and there's a lot of money out there. Maybe some of that should go to Trans Lifeline. Consider that today. Maybe you don't need to live in 60 rooms. Maybe you can make do with 40 and make up the difference by donating to Trans Lifeline. But aren't buying 60 rooms way more important than the rights of trans people? Yeah. This 20 rooms? They could vastly improve the lives of trans people in your area. <laughs> Imagine if if ever if everybody if everybody spared the if everybody spared about, you know. How, how many rooms could true trans people need? 10? 20? Maybe 30? 30 rooms! Anything is possible. But, all of that is to say, donate to Trans Lifeline. That's a, it's, it's a good cause. If you don't have a room, consider maybe some dollars? Or euros, or pounds, or, or, euros, or whatever or... your local currency is. Or your currency of choice. You have some, you have some foreign currency tucked away in, uh, tucked away beneath a floorboard somewhere in your house. Maybe retrieve it. Donate it to Trans Lifeline. If you have a, uh, if you you have some gold bullion hidden away in like a, in like a little stash in the woods, get it out. Open up your, open up your, uh, open up your buried treasure. Donate it to Trans Lifeline. I'm let to believe that the hidden currency is on room 43. That's one of the 20 you don't need, so do go retrieve it. Yeah. If you don't declare it, it's going to be... Uh, it's, if, you, if you don't declare it, that's going to be a problem on the donation. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to... You're going to have to process that. You want to retrieve that foreign currency before you donate the rooms or before you donate the currency. Don't make, don't make them get the currency from your room. Go the extra mile. Donate the Trans Lifeline. <laughs> That is incredibly gauche. Yeah, <laughs> don't make them collect the donation. Just do it. You know, it's. Uh... Huh. Anyway, in the spirit of generosity, we get back to Lady <laughs> Susan, where somebody has been somebody has been murdered, and we're about to give each other the greatest gift of all, which is writing them some letters and or notes. There's a uh, there's yes. a beautiful night ahead. There's a beautiful night ahead of us in which we can all reflect on what exactly we did and didn't do, both now and both now and in the past twenty years. <laughs> and this, this family knows all about charity. Yeah, they give extensively to charity, which is to, which which is tax deductible, and also vastly improves your image. So if you're a, so if you are. A, uh, so if you have recently come into some wealth and you are the heir, you are the heir or heiress or heiress <laughs> of some sort of uh, of some sort of nut-based fortune, consider giving to Trans Lifeline. If you think I about it, think. Lord Walnut is donating all of his fortune. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think Hazel is willing to donate any of the fortune. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know if I am truly the heiress of the entire fortune or even maybe mostly just of the house. And if I were, I'm sure I could spare one or two rooms for my dear aunt. Maybe even a trans person or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Remove your aunt. How, how, how's a trans person instead? Don't need the trans lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Kick out the aunt. It would be very good for my image. You know, my aunt has been involved in some scandals in the papers. I don't like to talk about it, but it has been very traumatizing for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but, on a, on, a more on a more serious note, I think I have an epistolary. I don't Ooh. think any part of this, this, um, this farce is... Serious, but go ahead. A man has been murdered, Cindy. How is that not serious? I think 
Mrs. Pitt has been, uh, I think Mrs. Pitt goes to bed very upset, has a lot of nightmares, uh, takes more strychnine, Ooh. which makes the nightmares worse. And then, <laughs> and, then, and then when she can't sleep at all, gets up and writes a long and kind of incoherent letter to Miss Meg Wall. Like a like kind of a uh, like kind of, like a sort of letter you write in a haze. Like there is a mm -hmm. like it's a little incoherent. But I think the basic gist is uh, I think Brandy. the basic gist that you get from this is absolutely uh, how could you do this to how how could you do this to me your own mother your <laughs> I can't believe you would uh, I can't believe you would throw me under the uh, under the carriage like this. There is uh, I I've never done I've never done a bad thing to your well I it's not that I've never done a bad thing to you in your life but there is a <laughs> I may have done something bad to you in my life, but but this this is beyond the pale. I cannot believe you would do this to me. This is uh, this is this is horrific. You you have you've singularly failed in the task of honoring your mother. I do, whatever happens, I do not forgive you, and God doesn't either. Jesus, I, I think Jesus doesn't forgive me either. Um. <laughs> Jesus doesn't forgive you either, and let me tell you, the Virgin Mary doesn't forgive you at all. I know we're not that big on her. We're in the Church of England here, but there is a. <laughs> but uh, but just to be clear, I don't think Saint George. I don't think Saint George forgives you either. So it's, think... it's like a long rambling letter. But uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so for the epistolary, we don't get these letters until the next day, right? Yeah, yeah, I think she. I think in the middle of the night. Yeah, I think she was. I think she was going to say it to your face, but then realized that you were probably mm. asleep, so just went back to her room, wrote up a letter, and slipped it under your door. Is it signed, like... by the way? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mrs. Pitt would be insane enough to wake someone else up, but maybe she was thinking, "Oh, maybe I should be considerate." <laughs> <laughs> I think he's about to like bang on your door, then stops and like thinks about this and goes, "Hmm, no, no, no. I should write a letter. I should collect my thoughts." <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then and then writes and then and then, and then writes this abs writes this absolutely insane letter to this yes. big wall. Yes. And it it takes like I don't know five sheets front to back. Yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> it's like two and a half are insults. <laughs> then she goes back, gets another, like writes on another sheet. Go, go goes back to Meg's room, like, a, like, like just slips that under the door as well. So it's like a, it's like a mix of sheets. It the first letter wasn't enough. She had to yeah. add on. Well, she like laid down in bed and realized she had more to say, so she wrote more. <laughs> oh no. Well, I think, um, I think it's like a badly spaced letter. It's like when you, it, it's like when you don't entirely, uh, it, it's like measure out a sign. Yeah, we don't entirely measure it out. Like sometimes she just writes like straight into the margin, then starts writing down. <laughs> Perfect places to add other mean adjectives. Yeah. Um. So I feel like this is this is like because I don't. Or um, Miss Meg doesn't, Miss Meg Wall doesn't receive this until the next day. But I don't think Miss Meg Wall wants a murderess as her mother. So Miss Meg Wall is going to write to Miss Meg Hickory Walnut um, some kind of letter that would like uh, implore um, her to admit to her parentage as Wall's mother. So um, it'd probably be like, compared to Mrs. Pitt's letter, very <laughs> like outline with bullet point and be like, here I see that um, maybe 20 years ago <laughs> you were uh, out of the country or <laughs> out of the estate at this point in time. Um, be very logical. Does it include a list of pros and cons? <laughs> <laughs> Assuming Ms. Mag's parentage. Um, hmm, that does sound like a pretty good idea. It, 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 it could be uh, a PS onto the letter. 
um yeah just being like hey uh i i've been looking for a mother figure for so long and i i i know that you you have had a a, a time when you were out of the area and i believe i am your daughter and I believe I could be of service to you and and uh, improve uh, your life and relations with uh, the Lady Hazel Walnut as well. <laughs> That's probably part of the pros and cons bit. Pros, Hazel loves me, and you need to be yep. loved. And, and, and that's a very good thing in your new position. <laughs> yep. Gosh. Um, yeah, I think um, I have but, two letters. Uh, if you're still thinking of yours, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, I have two letters. One to each of the Ms. Megs. Um, <laughs> right, we wanted to do this. <laughs> oh, do I? Do I want them to mix up? Do you um, want them to? I'm going to give you a resolve maybe. token if you do mix, maybe mix them I up. Maybe I do. That's fun. I have so many resolve tokens already. Uh, but yeah. Listen, have another one. Me. Thanks. I uh, will mix them up. Um, yeah, I have two letters, one to each uh, Ms. Mag. Um, the one that is supposed to go to Miss Magwall is very wet with tears and stuff. Um, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Deeply unsanitary <Thankfully> so. letter. <laughs> it also smells of perfume, like she dabbed a perfume over it. Um, the handwriting is very uh, ornamental, very loopy. Um, and it says that I hope that no matter what happens with the uh, will, you consider to consider me, continue to consider me a sister, uh, that I hope to keep you in my life, and that we stay close together, and that surely you have space in your heart for me, uh, no matter what happens uh, coming forward. Uh, with all my love and affection, Lady Hazel Walnut. The one How that goes that actually goes to that one actually goes to Lady Mag Hickory. And the one that is supposed to go to uh, Lady Mag Hickory, aka Miss Mag, and actually goes to Miss Mag, aka Miss Wall, is actually <laughs> dry. Um, there isn't a single tear or is not on it. There also isn't perfume. Uh, the handwriting is less loopy, still pretty cursive, but not more to the point. Um, and it is uh, thanking Ms. Meg for her guidance and hoping that they will continue to have good relations from now forward. And that she would um, be most content in sparing a room or two to Miss Meg. You're not going to say anything scathing about Just... how you feel about her crying. <laughs> mm? You're not going to say anything about how, how she cries. No. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, um, leave the crying signed, to me. Yeah, signed, Lady Hazel Walnut, P.S., <laughs> leave the crying to me, I look prettier. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Yeah. I think 
that Lady Mac is going to write an anonymous note to Lady Suzu. Um, and I think the anonymous note um, has some claims in it about the whereabouts of uh, Lady La La Hazel Walnut <laughs> um, the night before the murder. Um, that she was snooping into Miss Mariska Pitt's womb for some reason. Um, Oh. And yeah, I think that's what basically what the contents of the note are, you know? Um, hmm. I add anything more? Uh, also, I think there's some speculation on the uh, on the note that is like, well, Lady uh, Hazel, Hazel Walnut might suspect that she might receive a substantial inheritance if um, from the death of um, Lord Walnut. Which is why she might have committed this murder. So it's fact that Hazel Walnut was rummaging around. Uh, and... That's what the note claims. That's not fact. Okay. Necessarily. I think it's fair to establish as fact, but... Um, I... It isn't a fact. It isn't. For reasons, but that I can't really say here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> this isn't true, but yeah, it was an accusation. <laughs> yeah. It's an accusation, yeah. Yeah. I will deny that I've been, that of I have course. ever been to Ms. Ristica room. I have never. Of course. All right. Is that? Uh, I th I have a second epistolary, which I think uh, I think after she's done after she's done ripping into Miss Meg Wall, she uh, mm -hmm. I, th I think Mrs. Pitt has a uh, has a second epiphany that you know like uh, like she, she should really uh, she sh she should really let Lady Meg have it too. <laughs> <laughs> and w and when she can't get to sleep yet again, uh, she uh, I think she I think she starts writing a letter to Lady Meg and like writes uh, <laughs> I think starts out to uh, I think she starts out like not like dear lady Meg or anything. She's just like Meg and then writes down I and then and then trails off and passes out on her desk. <laughs> Wait, wakes up in the morning with a little drool over the over the paper. Actually, no, I think there's more than I in there. There's also uh, I know <laughs> I know that you and the, like uh, like the, like the rest is indistinct because she just kind of smudged it with her with her face. <laughs> What did you know in your delirium that you no longer know in your waking state? I do not fucking remember what I wrote there. <laughs> it, must, it, it must have been good, though, since I got out of bed to do it. Mm. Or it seemed good at the time. I, I do sometimes see things when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm real deep in the strychnine. And see the future. Mm -hmm. And the future, let me tell you, is not looking bright. For yourself or for others? Well, for myself. Others don't matter. That's, uh, that's the motto by which I live oh, my life. Oh, no. <laughs> no, yeah, she has a point there. Precisely. Do we... Hmm? Yeah. Does anybody else have anything they want to write? Mm. I don't think of anything. Um, I think uh, Lady Mac writes a note to Miss Mac, which is basically <laughs> like, um, basically the contents of it are like, "Hey, I would like to talk to you." I think don't think there's much more to it than that. Um, I think so there's all two <laughs> notes pass in the night. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Do we move on then? Is there anything else? I think we might be good. Yeah. 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 So the next morning, <laughs> everybody gets up at, at the time of their choosing. 
you're rich. You can you can you can observe whatever bedtime you whatever bedtime you like. I'm not rich. My bio family is rich. My sister mm. is rich. I'm not. So I wake up at a timely manner because I usually have work to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only a poor thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, you don't have to do that here because as, as gentry in the Regency period, we consider doing any kind of work shameful. Working for a living is like one of the most embarrassing things you can do as, <laughs> as a member of the gentry. Yeah, please do not mention work again. You are to be my sister, and I would not like to associate with people who work. Oh yeah. my gosh. You work for a living like some kind of commoner. <laughs> and that's why I don't understand the manners of you fancy people. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, the important things about being rich is that you is that you sit at home all day, take strychnine, and lie. <laughs> <laughs> I have never lied, manipulated, or otherwise misled anyone in my life. Uh, exactly. Like, yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> do we do we say like how we react to our letters, or do we just go on to the next chapter? Mrs. Pitt did not receive any letters, so she does not react. I didn't receive any letter. Uh -huh. That's true! <laughs> they all went to the Megs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, still, my question is, do we react to them, or do we just move on to the next chapter? Do you react to them, if you, yeah, if you have well, anything can... to do? We can react to them in the next chapter, since we are getting okay, up. Okay. This is the novel chapter. We are, uh, we are having a, it's it, it's it's a series of visitations. So it's not like, like kind of the like kind of the framing of this is that is that we are kind of milling about the milling about the mansion, trying not to look guilty of murder. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very easy because none of us committed murder. Yeah, precisely. Of course. Well, you'd think so, but uh, but the whole thing about it, but the whole thing about this is that uh, anybody can look guilty of committing a murder. Surely not I. Well, yeah, except for Hazel. <laughs> I think I think uh, I think let's be real here. I think Lady I think Lady Meg is, is just a, just an example of perfect comportment. Miss Meg Wall also, and Mrs. Maristica Pitt. Well, she is. <laughs> <laughs> she she is an also ran in this race. <laughs> She's not doing so well. Yeah, she's not doing well at all. I think she, I think she gets up and she were and when she looks and she, and she looks worse for wear compared to yesterday, which is saying something. Even with all that strychnine. Yeah, she fell asleep on her desk. Her face looks awful. There's like little um, folds from the crease in the letter on her face. Yeah. Ugh. There's a smushed out uh, accusation towards uh, Lady Lady Mac on her face, you know? And she had to take there a bath is. just to look, like, presentable at all in the morning. <laughs> yeah. So her hair is wet. <laughs> <laughs> Even more tragic. Yeah. Well, I, I probably... Well, you'd probably be up later and seeing as... Uh, well, my reaction to your letter would be like, wow, Mrs. Pitt is out of it. And then I probably get, um, I probably get all of the letters at the same time. Uh, I'm excited to hear from their Miss Meg and very confused about Alice's letter. Uh, I'm like, crying? I didn't cry. <laughs> My dear sister, what, what, what's happening? Is, is this a, is this an, a, a mistake? Do you want the scene to be between us then? The first one? Um, yeah, sure. Or would you want the scene with Cindy instead. Other <laughs> Cindy instead. <laughs> oh yeah, up to you. Mm, which one would be more interesting? 
I feel like the, the sister confusion thing. Uh, also, how, how many? Hmm? Uh, I was going to say, Lady Mac also received a confusing letter from Hazel. So maybe there, yep. uh, part of the conversation is just both of us being confused. <laughs> yep. So I don't know, like, how many scenes can you do in a next chapter? Uh, I think we can, I think we can do it fairly freeform. We still have like an hour and 40 minutes, so we're, so we're, okay. gonna, so we're definitely going to be well in time. I don't think we need to worry too much about uh, how long we go. Well, then I definitely think the first thing in, um, Wall's, uh, itinerary is to see, uh, the other Miss Meg. <laughs> because... Uh, they did invite them for a chat, so probably that's their number one priority. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've probably invited you to like my sitting room at like one p.m. or something. It's just when I wake up. That's late, but yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you guys don't. You guys don't wake up on time. <clears throat> <laughs> I think you come in and she's just like still uh, crying, just like uh, her, her her eyes are so wet with tears. It's oh. yeah, it's because you didn't receive the letter that said that you should stop crying. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if I had, I would have stopped, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when yeah, when you hear someone that tells you to stop crying, you you, you know she means it. <laughs> It's an insult. Um, I I guess I just I I try to knock politely and and then I try to console you. Come on, come, come in, come in, my dear. You must be hot um, about this as well. I think she she says. I I unfortunately had no time to spend with my father. I I just wish I. Got to know him, but I am very glad to have this opportunity to get to know you. Um, may I call you my mother? <laughs> oh, well, I, I'd like to be sure about this first. You see, um, it's obviously I can see why this is important to you, and I do wish to be as forthcoming to you as I can in this uh, matter, of course, but you must see that there is some, um, um, how, do, how, would, how would she face this? There is a lot going on at the moment, and as such, it would be maybe a bit untimely to announce you as my daughter now. I think, like, um, Wall, <clears throat> Meg Wall doesn't, tries not to, like, uh, show any emotion and tries to be like very understanding, but you can tell she's trying not to cry. <laughs> now everyone's <laughs> crying. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> the lady has um, told you to stop as well. Oh god. <laughs> yep. Well, either way, she's trying not to. She's <laughs> she's trying to be composed. Um, Hazel told you to stop crying, and you went like, wait, I can cry about this, and you started crying immediately. <laughs> I do um, have tear ducts. Uh, uh, and yeah, I'm like, uh, I, I, I understand. Uh, this is a very trying time for you, and I realized that uh, that th there may be a lot to process, but I I promise I am I am in your corner, and I will I will do anything I can to support you. Yes. Um, speaking of, I, your in your letter you told me that uh, Lady Hazel told you about this, right? She she wasn't. She has not told me anything about. Um, my mother, but she said she did find records of uh, Lord Walnut taking uh, care of my adopted parents and myself. <clears throat> oh, yes, yeah, interesting. Do you know why she... I, I, don't, I don't mean to be probing, but... 
Why do you think she invited you here at this moment? It seems a bit untimely. Oh God, Miss Meg is just uh, gonna say untimely all the time, I think. But <laughs> I think this is like the meme of this um, <laughs> of this game. Everything is untimely here. Um, but I would say that Hazel did did not know that such a thing would happen. I think she needed a sister, and I was more than happy to be there for her. This poor girl. Uh, like I'm, I'm going to say that these are the things that Hazel has told me, and I don't know the half of it. But like, oh, Hazel grew up in such unfortunate circumstances. Or her parents were absolutely destitute. And yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't how many rooms there were. <laughs> and, and and they were so uh, poor. And and my father, your your late husband, was so kind to her. And I'm sure that. They deserved all the love in the world, and, and they were so caring and loving towards each other, and I just, I wish I had that relationship, too. Yes, he was such a lovely man. That's out the window as she said it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think she is just like, well, but speaking of Lady Hazel, do you feel like she's been acting a bit suspicious lately? Oh... What? Of course not. How could you say such a thing? She's had her heart uh, broken. Oh, I don't mean to. I don't mean to accuse her of doing anything awful. It's just her behavior is so strange lately. I don't know. She's she called she she wrote me a letter this morning and she called me her sister in it, which most confusing thing. I always thought of her more of a daughter or as her mother, but. Or aunt, but this post is a weird way to look at our relationship. Oh, I... Perhaps she confused uh, her, her, her letters? I, she does oh. seem to be crying a bit more often lately, though it is maybe about a week since I've met her uh, oh. in person. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know, I mean, of course, it's very understandable that she's distraught by the happenings lately, but uh, it, it, I feel like she's been acting strange all week, you know, rummaging around the place late at night, that sort of thing. It's weird. That is strange. I, I didn't know she was doing such things. Uh, so... Does seem that you two have a good relationship. Yes, um, yeah. oh, I believe like I've, I've received... It feels almost like you have a working relationship, um, but that's that. I'm I'm so sorry to have have read uh, her letter for you. Yeah. Oh, speaking about, have you spoken with Marissa lately? She's... Oh, uh, I don't know her that well, but it does indeed seem suspicious that uh, her, her strychnine was found near my late father's body. Yes. Seems suspicious, doesn't it? Almost as if she was framed. <laughs> I think she's very unsubtly like. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> no. Who would do such a thing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe someone who thought they could gain a lot from um, my. Late husband's untimely that. Buys a bit more. Uh, and and uh, Meg is no longer holding back tears and is now just very confused. 
if it was like a comic, you would see question marks or smoke coming out of her head. Yeah. Um... Do we want to end scene there or stay? Yeah, I think that might be, mm. that might be a good place yeah. for it. And be like, I think um, maybe uh, Miss Meg just has a sit down, and or uh, maybe she says something like, "I I have a lot of thinking I need to do," and then leaves to some other part of the house. Yes, of course, she for a Yeah. All right, who wants to do uh, another scene? It makes sense to do one between Maristica and, uh, <laughs> and Hazel. I have <laughs> nothing to talk to you. Oh, right. oh, Maristica has a lot to talk to you about. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's, uh, I think she is just, uh, I think, I think, I think she is just, uh, I think she's just generally incest. I could also talk to I could also talk to you, to, to, to Lady Mag. No, I think it's a good idea to have us in the same yeah. room at, at least one time. Yeah, yeah. I think there is a. I think she. Uh, I think she. I think she's like a storm cloud this morning. Not not on quite as much strictly, which is why she's a little more. Uh, which is why she's a, she's a little more put together. Mm-hmm. I think she, I think she comes out and uh, I, I, I want this, I, I want like, so I imagine the artist has still been working on the portrait. In fact, may, in fact, may have been working on it through some of the night, having been struck by a bolt of inspiration. And some of it is just kind of, kind of some of it just, uh, just kind of coming together. And I think, uh, I think Mrs. Pitt turns up and like, like looks at it, kind of tut tuts, and notices you also in the room. She's like she's like sipping some she's like sipping some tea and like uh like notices you and like like goes toward you and you can't avoid her. Oh, I know where you find me. I'm actually yeah. posing for the painter because I wanted him to redo my face more puffy this time. I know I said I didn't want it to look puffy, but then I look at it and it wasn't puffy at all. And I do want people to know that I cry, so it has you to be look a great bit doing puffy. It. Yeah, I do. So yeah, I can't. You have me in the room, and I can't move because I'm posing. <laughs> she, I think she steps forward, looks at the artist like a like like murmurs something at him, then looks to you and says, uh, "says good, says good God, Hazel. There's been a murder, Hazel. Oh, that's that's why I'm crying. That's why." That's why you're crying. You're... Yeah. I, I loved, I love Lord Walnut and my dear Uncle Ernest more than anyone in this, this whole house, so... More than anybody in this house? to some crying. Yes! Hazel, Hazel I, I, I suspect that your shriveled little heart has room for a thimble full of emotion at best. Everything else comes straight out the eyes. Love. And love that is what I feel from my uncle. Good God. Shameful. This is grotesque, Hazel. Come, come now. What are you talking about? I'm trying the perfect amount, and I look perfectly respectful while doing so, and I don't have any strickening with me, unlike some people. And I'm sure Lady Susan is going to know who of us did love him more after all because because I, I've heard that she's gonna accuse you You've, of course, I'll, that would be just like her I can't, I, can't, I can't believe this and I, and, she, and she just like paused for a second says uh, it's a good thing I can't cry because of the strychnine, but if, if, if I could, I'd be so upset right now. <laughs> why did you, why did you invite Miss- Look at me now, you've made me cry. 
Oh, good. Good. I'm happy about this. Why did you invite Miss Wall here? What do you mean, why you would do... Well, she's... she's a daughter of my dear uncle, and, and he... He she's had been my daughter writing too. letters about it to her family, so I, I thought... Oh. What did you? What did? What, what did you get? Where did you get her? Was it? Was it to spite me? Did you sabotage me here? She's your daughter. I suddenly no tears. I I thought she was Miss Hickory's. Wait, wait. <laughs> How could she be? How could she be Miss? Uh, how, could, how, how could she be? How could she be Lady Wanda Hickory's daughter? Oh, they. They are. They were married, so I assumed. You. Wait, but you this, mean this she be... might not even be his legitimate daughter? Wait, this is. Wait, did. Wait, did Lady. Did Lady Meg have? Did Lady Meg go? Did Lady Meg go on a holiday? To, to go out of the country 20 years ago? It would ago, be perhaps? three years of age, Miss Mysteria. I didn't know. I was off living with my parents in that awful little house. No, you... How could she, how could she be... Uh, are you saying that... Hmm. Are you saying that... Are you saying that Lord... I need, I need to talk to her about this. I need to. I need to. I need to get to the. I need to get to the bottom of this. She sets down her like little little saucer and cup of tea and just like, just like puts it down on puts it straight up down on the couch, not on the nearby table, and just go, and just and just and just, and just runs off. Well, good. And I'll look at the painter and go back at looking pretty. The painter makes the painter makes no comment about this. And also, like also like because this is a house of a like, peer, there are there are at minimum like two to three footmen in every room. It's like like all these rooms are are kind of crowded. There's like maids everywhere, that kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah, where to next? see who's left i did a scene then there's uh and alice gets a scene and i think one I of the si one of the cindy's also gets a scene yeah i still get one i think because the other one was the other cindy so yeah which one are you talking about yeah which one i don't know which one would i mean <laughs> There's I been a mix-up. Like would... The scenes went to went to the wrong people. <laughs> <laughs> it went to the same people. Mm -hmm. I do think that um, at some point I would, or um, Miss Megwall would like to talk to Hazel because of new revelations, but that can be done at any time. Yeah. Um, I would like to use my scene to talk to either Miss Mag. Ms. Mag. I have issues with both of them <laughs> but i think yo the other scene who is going to be in the other scene uh, i think i want to do a scene with miss marissica still that would make sense mm -hmm. so meg wall would uh meg i think wall would that one should that. first that one first, or? I think sh the two possible mothers should be first, if we are g gonna talk about that in the next one, too. Mm -hmm. uh, this could also be a scene where, like, both, where, like, both, there could also be a scene where, like, both Megs talk to, talk to Hazel. <laughs> 
it's like we'll see this Meg situation. More than one. <laughs> it's like we're both coming to her and like with our letters and being like, I believe there's been a mix up. Yeah. Actually, no, I think I might have. Well, no, there would have been no reason for me to bring my letter to uh, Lady Meg. So maybe not. Actually, yeah. Why don't we do that first then? Like both of us bring our letters to Hazel. And she's still posing. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't know if Lady Mac would be very concerned with that, honestly. Like, oh. she would just be, oh, yeah, I don't have to mix up whatever, you know? <laughs> Maybe she would want okay. to hear in what the conversation is like. Maybe she would pretend to be concerned with it so she can hear what the conversation is like. Maybe that's what happened here, yeah. <laughs> So maybe after I have, like, after you tell me all those things, I'm going to, like, say I need to go sit down. I head to my room. I get the letter. And then I'm uh, thinking of confronting Hazel. And then maybe you see me pass by with the letter. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So is, is Hazel still posing? <laughs> Let's so see. I think that's the best place to. Yeah. <laughs> I think we gotta involve this painting in as many scenes as possible. It's. Uh... Uh... <laughs> While you're there, the painter also starts painting you into the portrait. <laughs> you know, while you're here. No, no, stop. <laughs> it, it hasn't the it hasn't been publicized that I I I am of relation. Um. Yeah, you're just so, like, I got so... a good feeling about you, though. <laughs> <laughs> you you know too much. Um, yeah. So I I bring the letter and and show it to Hazel and and like, what do you what do you mean that that I cry too much? I I barely cry at all, and and I feel like this isn't. This isn't a very nice thing to write to your sister. And I've heard that you, you've you been making about at night. This is the... I'm so terribly sorry. One of the servants must have mixed up the ladders. That must be so confusing for you. Just thinking about you in the middle of the night receiving such an awful letter. It makes me... No, it's not meant to you. I would never talk to you such things. You've been crying a perfectly reasonable amount, if very little. Well, well, I, I don't think that's, that's a thing you need to notice about me, and, and, um, Meg is, like, very conflicted, and, like, she wants to comfort, um, Hazel, but <laughs> is also, like, maybe she's Crying for not great reasons. She would never do such a thing, though, right? Um, I would never. <laughs> I, even if it, even if you think of it, just makes me just wanna. <gasps> now look at me. I'm crying again. <laughs> no, yeah. And then yeah, she she does. Uh, Meg does actually look away and. Offers her handkerchief again. I'm so terribly sorry that, that you received such a letter. I wrote a much pleasant, much more pleasant letter to you. Um, on one letter that quite important, actually. I wanted to tell that no matter what happens, I consider you a sister. And I want you to consider me a sister as well. What, what do you think will happen? And... Like, why, why would you ever doubt my, my resolve as your, as your best friend? Oh, I never doubt, but it's just the, with the, well, I don't know who might get or not get what. And, and I want to know that if I do get the house, you certainly have a place for you in it. And and the the reverse would also be true, I hope. Oh, I 
don't think that I would get anything. I, um, there, there is no evidence of my relationship with the late Lord, or um, our Father. But yes, of course, if if there was anything oh, offered no, to me, I would. No, but he thought of you very fondly. Even if he he didn't reach out, he thought of reaching out often. I. I've seen some of the letters he'd sent, and and I, I'm sure he was thinking of reaching out to you very, very soon. So it's just really unfortunate timing. Why, why did you want to uh, introduce me to him before he was ready, though? Well, you see, he he had been getting encouraged to to reach out for, for a bit. So I thought I thought it would be better if he if I just pulled off. Oh, band aids haven't been invented yet. Uh, if we just went all in the cold water at once. Hmm. I'm trying to wonder see, if, if it does make you feel better. Um, I'm sure we could find some letters that he might have sketched in his study. Oh yes, please, please. I would very much like to know his his thoughts and feelings for me, and if what you say is true, because. I, I, I would never doubt you. I, I would just love to know more about these things that you, you say. Yeah, of course. You're bound to be interested in your father and his feelings about you. It is, it is your right as his. I mean, if Miss Hickory is, is your mother, you'd be his legitimate daughter. And she is your mother, is she not? Did you get the chance to talk to her yet? Ah, uh, yes, but uh, seeing as there is yet to be any evidence of the fact, and seeing as she is going for a very trying time, you, you can tell how distraught she is. Uh, uh, oh, yes, yeah, she is don't crying find it. very much isn't she <laughs> uh seeing how how it's it's such a trying time for her as well we don't think it's it's the best time to to uh divulge our relationship well they were divorcing so she can't be that distraught how how could you say such a thing uh, of your aunt Oh, oh I'm, I'm so very sorry my tongue slipped. It's just that the, pros, the legal process has been so drawn out and, and everyone's been a bit stressed about it. And, and she really did not want to be um, bound to my uncle as long as she has with, with all the legal process and all the papers. The papers have been talking about us quite a lot, you know. I do. <laughs> I feel like Miss Meg is very gullible. <laughs> um, she she sorts of like kind of squints her eyes at you and is like, it, it is it is uh, very interesting how much has been written about the situation. I wonder, I wonder if maybe somebody is leaking some of this to the press. Well, how the legal system works, I doubt people need to leak very much. It's a very leaky place, the parliament. <laughs> they should look there. They should hire someone to fix that. 
<laughs> too many pipes. Um. Too many pipes. <laughs> they leak more than my tear duct sepium. <laughs> and believe that. Hmm. Is that seen? Uh, how how would we end it? I, I, I would... yeah, we'll use. I'll just use one of my many uh, resolve tokens uh, to show you a letter of Lord Walnut uh, inquiring about you, and I think the letter. Yeah, what happens is that we look through his office. Um, Miss Hazel produces a letter saying, oh, here, I found it in this drawer. And it is a letter from Lord Walnut inquiring about you and I think wondering about um, maybe, yeah, how you are and if you... I want there to be hints of you being included in the will and being <gasps> recently included in the will or he's been thinking of including you in the will would you sent a letter more suspect why would hazel bring somebody who might be in the will to the family unless it was a distraction i don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah we'll end the scene at like rummaging through his letters i wonder if we discover anything else but for now i think that's good <laughs> yeah in the meantime <laughs> mrs pet has found <laughs> has found lady mag <laughs> <laughs> Has Lady Meg moved from her original spot, or is she like, uh, or is she like, Lady, or is she like Hazel Walnut, who's just, who's just kind of doing her thing? I think she's taking a stroll through the garden at this time, you know. Yeah, and Mrs. Pitt emerges from behind the tree. <laughs> nice. It's not, it's not a very clever ambush, but it does work. <laughs> and she, and she goes, ah, <laughs> ah, Lady Meg, I'm very pleased. It's, it's so lovely in the garden, isn't it? Carefully, you don't wander off the estate. <laughs> oh, Miss Marithika, why would I have any reason to do such a thing? There's oh, someone well. here that looks like it's you. I know, right? It's 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 impressive how it's impressive how it's impressive how orchestrated it all feels. But uh, it, it it's almost like it's almost like people are conspiring against me. Oh, yes. Such a devious conspiracy it would be. You joke, but I, 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 I'm at a loss to explain it any other. I, but that's not that's, that's not even what I wanted to talk to you about. What is it then? Uh, miss, I was speaking to I was speaking to Miss Wall, and she, and she seems to be under the impression, and <laughs> Mrs. Pitt uncharacteristically chooses her words carefully here. <laughs> She seems to be under the impression that she might be a uh, relation of yours. Oh, yes, he has spoken to me about this. Yes. <laughs> and she is your daughter. I... It seems possible, yes. <laughs> it seems possible. She is, what, 21, 20? Uh, about 20, yes. Now, uh, there's no way to tactfully ask this, but we're... twenty years ago, did you uh, did you perhaps have the occasion? Did you perhaps were you perhaps out of the country for a little while? Oh you yes, know, I visited my family in France, of course. A very nice visit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Such a beautiful estate. Well, it just so happens I was also visiting family in France. We have the same family, you see, and I do. I do the oh, whole yes, thing of course. There. 
So, <laughs> what I'm saying, so what I'm saying is, did you perhaps, you, we were both visiting family at that time, right? It seems like we were, yes. And Ernest, bless his soul, he was, he was rather interested in me at the time, wasn't he? He was, he was, he, he was making some motions to recording me. I mean, he asked, it, it's been discussed in the fourth case. Um. Mm-hmm. Well, well, you weren't going to be, you weren't quite, uh, it was, it was, it was before the two of you were married. He was, uh, he was, uh, there was a, there was a rather... We, we, we had a little thing going on back then. It was, uh, I, I, I dare say, I thought we were, you know, intended for one another. And uh, and in view, in view of this, we were, we, we were so in love at the time. You, you must remember this. He would, he would not stop talking about me. He would send me such, he would send me such very intense letters about how much, how much he loved me. Oh yes, I. Do we call the time? Yes. And yet he got you pregnant. I. That son of a bitch! He's so lucky one of you absolute harpies got to him first. I cannot believe him. Look, Mermistica. All I had to tell him was that I was pregnant to get this marriage. You hid it for some reason. I don't know why. But... It's... It's... it's it, it was... It wasn't quite... It wasn't. It wasn't the time. There was. It had to be lined. It was. It was. It was. It was a whole. Oh, I still had to hide it, of course, but not from him. He, you know how he was. He was such a man of honor. Sometimes, you know. Sometimes. I uh, cannot believe you. Man of honor. Oh my, Ernest. He couldn't even get my name right. Man of honor. Oh, I mean, he was too married to his, I don't know, code of honor or whatever it was. Well, yes, on that we can agree. <laughs> what his code of honor was, I cannot possibly say. I can't either. The man had very weird logic. The man, the man had ethics, but God only knows what they were. Uh, such a confusing man. Such a con... Oh... And now I'm going to, and now I'm going to be implicated in his murder. Great. Wonderful. <laughs> Talk to me, Alsi. Was it you? Did you did, did you do it? No, why would I? Because, I well, because, because you'd be getting divorced and you would be getting cut out of the will, obviously. I, that, that's one reason why you would probably do it. Well, okay, I admit that the that the occasion of his murder might be advantageous to me, but Aha! So you did do it! <laughs> Honey, do you think I would be foolish enough to do this myself? <laughs> oh, good God. I hate you so much. I cannot believe you. I know you, cousin. I hate you too. And she just kind of she kind of continues walking by you as you stroll through this garden. <laughs> she occasionally tries to say something to you, but then just like so just like sighs. <laughs> just like yeah. just like seething. <laughs> I think this is like, yeah. Th at this time, her like fake sadness falls away. You see like a smile on her face, like I'm just. <laughs> 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 right on time for the will reading. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, the solicitor gathers us in like a again. The solicitor gathers us in like a. I want to say a dining room. I don't think this is this necessarily a drawing room conversation. Like we're all seated around, like we're all seated around the table, us and all of the insignificant family that we have only contempt for. <laughs> all of the family from France. Yeah. I'm that sure totally my, saw both of you. My father, mother, and sisters, who I ignore because they are poor, are actually here. <laughs> and I've been going around saying to Miss Meg how only she can be my sister. 
Oh, I forgot you had an actual one. <laughs> I have. I shared a room with her and everything. I thought I thought it was more like you shared a dozen rooms with her. See, we're technically sharing a room. <laughs> we had to share fifteen horses. Uh, Thirty bathrooms. Yeah. We had to use the same reading room. Oh, that's so awful. Yeah. Oh my god, reading the room where somewhere else is also reading. I can't concentrate all day. <laughs> Just knowing she's in the same house reading somewhere. <laughs> Distasteful. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. But yeah. So, the will reading. I think uh, I, I think for the will reading, there was going to be a... Uh, I think all of us get to... I think all of us should be able to, like, submit highlights. Let me actually just check in Lady Susan if there's a if there's a specific rule for the will reading. But I think it's something like... Uh, let's see, second novel chapter phase. At an appropriate point, the facilitator should use their visitation for the reading of Lord Walnut's will. Assemble the characters in the drawing... It, it is in the drawing room, once again, at the mm -hmm. behest of the lawyer. <laughs> So the lawyer is here. He is uh, he is mild as ever. If players have not already discussed the content of the will, do so at this point. If any player wishes to influence the content of the will, they can offer a resolve token to do so, entering into a negotiation as necessary. <laughs> I want to I want to submit a resolve token so that the will does include Mrs. Pitt in there, but as a like uh, as a like uh, like there's a sort of like like some of the like some of the money is set aside into a stipend, you know, for all the good times, which is which is, which which, which, which Mrs. Pitt absolute which Mrs. Pitt just absolutely loses her shit at. She is she's so incensed she has to be taken out of the room. <laughs> <sighs> That sounds like a good idea. More drama is always good. And I, I don't think I need to... Do I need to give a resolve token for, like, that um, Meg Wall is in the will? Or is this a thing that's already uh, been set up? She is in the will, but you can maybe pay a resolve token to figure out, like, what exactly she, uh, like, what exactly she receives. I thought like, that's what we decide. Players decide on an ending, remove... Oh, wait, no. Each major character states their view about what happened. Oh, no, 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 we're still a novel chapter, sorry. Yeah, we're still the novel chapter. It's not, uh, we're not the confrontation. The confrontation comes yeah. after the will. Okay. Because the confrontation, as, as somebody in chat very helpfully noted, uh, the will does change if somebody murdered Lord Dalton <laughs> for understandable reasons. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to receive your share if you perhaps, you perhaps had a hand in Lord Walnut's death. Yeah. But it could change maybe how people react based on what's in the will. Hmm. hmm. So yeah, so we're deciding right now what is in the will, right? Yeah. Miss Megwall is definitely there. I mean, Mrs. Pitt, as I mentioned, is also definitely there. <laughs> but mentioned she doesn't get anything substantial. Just, just enough to live on in case of any, mm -hmm. in case of you know. So now the question is, who gets the bulk, um, Lady Meg or Lady Hazel? And I think it would be much more interesting. If it turns out that Lady Meg gets pretty much all of it because she's still married. Like, the bill wasn't updated yet, like... Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there was actually a, like, unfinished bill, like, laying in the room here somewhere, where, like, Lady Magnus completely cut out, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, yeah, in, in case of divorce. <laughs> in case of divorce. <laughs> In case it finally goes through, mm -hmm. but because of the legalities or whatever, because you're still married, the old one is used. Yeah, because like the reason you'd normally request a divorce in the Regency is because you wanted to remarry again. Because if you just got separated, you wouldn't be able to do that. Ooh, did he want to remarry his pet? 
No, no, Mrs. Pitt is also married. <laughs> Maybe we marry somebody else. <laughs> there was a third lover! Lord Walnut, as many Regency gentlemen of his age, really got around. <laughs> Damn, my father was a playboy. <laughs> Comes with the territory of being a peer, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, he he accidentally impregnated someone again and had to remarry. <laughs> it's his <laughs> weird moral system, so you know. Of course, but I imagine I have many half siblings. <laughs> Too bad I just they didn't think father, though. Like, like... yeah. I feel like it'd be fun if, like, one of the last things was decided. I don't know if it'd be in the will if he, like, admits who the mother actually is. Because <laughs> we don't know who the mother actually is. He mentions Miss Meg Wall, and this is, just, like, actually mentions, you know, she is my, uh, I, I hereby in this will, if I haven't gotten to her onto it already, legitimize her as my daughter and leave to her, like, such and such properties. <laughs> But not who the mother is. But yeah. Is there anything we want to add to it? Mm -hmm. So what's Lady Hazel got? Yeah. Um, the will is read. And when they get to the part where they start talking about the house, she gets her tears ready to cry and of happiness, of get... course. But then she doesn't get the house. No. And her face is completely dry. What? <laughs> All she gets is uh, maybe her room of residence. Or do you get like the summer estate, which only has 20 rooms? 20 rooms? <laughs> That's less than my father has. <laughs> no, a, a, a summer a, a summer house in a pleasant part of the country for a delicate young woman. <laughs> what? In the pleasant part of the Where country, so far away from London. Tragedy, absolute tragedy. You're shocked and appalled about getting a lesser house. <laughs> Glares at Miss Meg Hickory. Surely you know this is a mistake, don't you? Because you told me that with the divorce, uh, the divorce was not complete yet, honey. Well, that you. <laughs> you, you, you viper. No tears. No tears. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh... <laughs> the tears are coming again, reflexively. <laughs> I'm loving this. A scene that a will reading. It's classic. <laughs> Whenever money's involved. Never go into business with your family. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even business. <laughs> it's business. The business of money. Do we the slide of into sleeping the... around? accusation, confrontation phase, because I do feel very confrontational. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think Mrs. Pitt is brought back in against her wishes, and like, uh, and Lady, Su and Lady Susan just kind of clears her throat, and we enter the, uh, and Lady Susan clears her throat and goes, well, we might see about that. <laughs> we might see about that, will ya? <laughs> Don't get too hasty. <laughs> so yes, we enter the confrontation phase, and for those unfamiliar with Lady Susan P.I., uh, this is uh, how this game is resolved. Is as I mentioned, uh, we all decide what so we all decide collectively what sort of solution Lady Susan is going to come up with. So, 
in this case, uh, so the four basic solutions are outlined on the are outlined in the cycle of play. These are it was a natural death. Uh, Lady Susan says nobody did it. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one's out of the question. Yeah, yeah. no way. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Uh, yeah. The next is, somebody confesses, a major character confesses to the murder of Lord Walnut, regardless of whether they killed him or not. <laughs> I would be open to no. this. I, I could see Mrs. Pitt confessing yeah, I could, to I killing Lord this. Walnut, specifically so that I she would go this. down in history as the woman who killed him. <laughs> well, I was thinking that they wouldn't be smart enough about it, and they would be doing it to accuse someone else. <laughs> <laughs> that could also be the case. It might be that Lady Susan cuts off uh, <laughs> cuts off all of this developing scene and goes, no, no, I know who did it. <laughs> she cracks mm -hmm. the case and identifies the murderer in front of the lawyer and major characters, whoever that or, may be. Or she accuses someone else. She, she thinks just... she knows who the murderer is. Now, importantly, because this is the Regency and the cops don't exist yet, <laughs> <laughs> Or at least they don't exist in England in the proper way. Like, uh, I think the Royal Irish Constabulary exists already, but not in... Uh, but they haven't quite imported that back to the home front. <laughs> so, the whole thing here is that uh, we have to decide... I, I think we're going to... So, I think it's either... Uh, so, somebody confesses is a possibility? Is that a possibility we're interested in exploring here? I of think course, that's each fine. major character states their view about what happened yeah, to Lord Walnut. Sure yeah. That's a... Uh, yeah. So I'm ready to loudly accuse someone. Oh yeah, I think Mrs. Pitt is also. <laughs> yeah. Miss uh, Hickory is also. And <laughs> Blast Mag. Mag is just... <laughs> <laughs> Meg Wall is confused! <laughs> ah. Oh, Zero is... You guys go we first. didn't tap into that p potential. That's yeah. very good. I should have been batting my eyelids in another direction. Hazel, she's three times your age! <laughs> <laughs> have some decency. How many rooms does her house have, though? <laughs> You know, that's a good point. Because <laughs> apparently I'm set to inherit a one with only 20, so... <laughs> and him with somebody else. But yeah, everybody stays their own view. Who would like to go first? I'd love to go first. Go for it. You... You... You're still in the will. I, I bet you killed him, didn't you? You were so you were so annoyed with all the, the divorce papers, and you were so upset about how your reputation has been ruined because all the papers have been talking about you and how honorable you are. And you've been fake crying, crocodile tears, ever since he died. And I bet you did it. You did it. You knew Miss Miss Ritika has all her. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. It has vials with little poisons. And you knew it, and you knew where it was, and you wanted to kill him. You did it. You knew so very well you were still in the will. You killed him. He didn't know such thing. It was you. You knew that I was going to be cut out of the will, but you weren't smart enough to know that not only would went would go through after the divorce. We thought you would inherit this whole place. It's the only thing you care about. You're always talking about how many rooms your house has. Everybody knows. Also, it's clear that you were having faith here. They thought as soon as you heard the bill. Fuming tears <laughs> back again. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to turn that on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, uh, you were snooping around all all day. Uh, you were snooping around all night before the murder happened. You Didn't probably went into Miss Marissica's pit and and stole her. You know very well that you stole her poison. Got the poison. I did no such thing. You handed it to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love these two. Saying some things you can't take back. <laughs> I think Miss Mac is just you're you're just trying to accuse me of something I didn't do. What have been just as a quiet. Manipulated me. You've been using me. I'm just a sweet girl, and I love my uncle. And you manipulated me, and you made me do it. <laughs> I think Miss Megwall is going to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> her mother and her sister might have murdered her father. <laughs> Thank you for the might of. That's very generous of you. <laughs> there's still, there's still room for doubt. In... Yep. I think, yeah, Miss Meg is just like, I don't know why you're trying to drag me into this. You did this yourself. I had nothing to do with it. Be crying more. <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah? Uh, no, you're just fuming if you have something more coherent to. <laughs> I w yeah, I would love to see what Mrs. Pitt's solution is. I think Mrs. Pitt nods at the stagely and is like, yes, 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 it's all coming together. <laughs> 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 she, sa she says, well, I know that... Uh, I know that uh, I I know that Lord Walnut was uh, I know that Lord Walnut was caught with uh, was was you know well not caught he was uh, he was he was clearly poisoned with strychnine which is I must admit my poison of choice for myself <laughs> not for anyone else <laughs> and I think I've made my I've made my feelings on that very clear I I think I think somebody's been trying to set me up with a murder here and I don't think uh, I, I I don't I I frankly do not like it. I already, I, I already have so much on my plate. I may have a, uh, my illegitimate oh, daughter you may poor have thing. Up, my illegitimate you... daughter may have turned up to a portrait painting, and I've, and I've just been, I've just been publicly shamed by my, by my one-time lover, and uh, in one, in one final fuck you to my whole thing, <laughs> and just, just that, ab absolute, ab you know, at the end of the day. I want to say that I think it was a natural death, and that was a natural consequence of whatever of whatever Lord Ernest Walnut would have had made of his life. A co a comically awful man. I regret ever having anything to do with him, and I did not kill him. But you know, and maybe that and maybe that was uh, and, may and maybe that was maybe that was remiss of me. Maybe maybe a lot of suffering could have been avoided <laughs> if if somebody had only killed him sooner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. Wait, <laughs> you don't even say who you think the suspect is. You're just saying. I don't you care who the suspect is. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just morally satisfied that somebody killed Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, and I don't know who it is. And honestly, I'm too high to even, to, to even. To, 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 to even <laughs> try to understand the uh, understand what's going on between those two over there. I'm so upset. I can't. I can't. I cannot. I think Meg is just gonna be sniffling quietly. She's not the wailing kind, unlike her her ex sister. <laughs> um, <laughs> And she's she's just gonna be sniffling and like I I barely got to know the guy. <laughs> uh, poor thing. Hmm. So do we do we start deciding on an ending or is yeah. there more to be said? Mm -hmm. I think we started deciding on an ending. Now is the time for Lady Susan to speak. Now, do we think that Lady Susan accuses somebody? I feel like one of the things already kind of happened. Yeah, but there's like a, there's a lot of fab, there's a lot of facts mm -hmm. over here. There is a uh, there's a sort of like there is a sort of confession here, but there's still like a question of like who who does the blame lie with? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> who do we want to who do we want to take the proper fall for this? Is it uh, is it is it Mrs. Pitt? Is it Miss Meg Wall for some reason? Is it <laughs> is it, uh, is it Lady Boo. Hazel Walnut or is it uh, or is it Miss Meg Hickory? Formerly Lady mm. Meg Walnut Hickory. <laughs> or is it some combination? Can we of them? accuse two people? <laughs> We can't accuse um... two people. If it, if we think both of them share the blame, then that would be that would be a uh, there'll be one way this could work out. What what would make the most interesting story? I, I think that's what we should go with. What do we think is is the most fun? I feel like if they both get their comeuppance, that yeah, would be I satisfying. Think... I, I don't think know we if need the. A knife's out ending with Miss Magwall getting the house and drinking tea on her mug that says whatever it says on knife's out. Uh my I don't remember that. My house, my sixty rooms, my rules. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. My if you if Lady Susan is to accuse Lady Hazel Walnut, she will drag Lady Meg Wickery Hickory with her. With her, yeah. Yeah. I think that's more fun if they both get accused, but like it's a group decision. So I think do you want too. chat to have a have a thought? Yeah, actually, sound off in chat. chat. Really? You are all chat in this moment. I like to pi I like you to picture yourselves in the roles of uh, in the roles of all the miscellaneous family who've been gathered here. You've heard that Lord Bernstein has been murdered, and you are you're hearing, all the family uh, from France. And you are hearing all of this. Uh, and you're My last of... fortunate father and sister, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the ones that you ignored. <laughs> So our um, so so our main options for suspects are Lady Hazel Walnut, the spoiled niece of Lord of Lord Walnut, who is uh, whose main skill in life and her primary and her primary stock in trade is looking very hot while crying. I do <laughs> look very pretty. My eyes get the perfect amount of puffy. Uh, then of course there is Lady Meg Walnut Hickory. Uh, age forty seven. She is almost divorced from Lord Walnut. It simply had to clear Parliament. And that hasn't quite, uh, and that hasn't quite, that hasn't quite happened yet. <laughs> and as far as we know, it seems that Lady Meg Walnut may have convinced Lady Hazel Walnut to commit a murder. Mm -hmm. Then there, of course, is Mrs. Maristica Pitt, who is. Uh... <laughs> Who is uh, who's age thirty nine? Lord Walnut's longtime mistress, and clearly, clearly hates him a great deal now. And she is uh, she is Meg Hickory's cousin, and possibly, possibly the mother, but probably not the Miss Meg Wall. <laughs> she is high all the time. She has like a she has a lot of strychnine, and clearly the willingness <laughs> yes. to lose it on herself. Yes, yes. maybe also on other people. Confesses that it is the poison of choice. Yes. And confesses that she would have killed him sooner if she had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then of course there's and then of course there's Miss Meg Wall, who is the sudden interloper, age twenty, the illegitimate daughter of Lord Walnut and somebody else, probably Lady Meg Walnut Hickory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, Vivian? If I was a murderer, I wouldn't keep my poison on me, Vivian says. It can't be Mrs. Pitt. That was my <laughs> line of reasoning. And, Le and Lady Susan and said that of... was an unconvincing argument. <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. If I if I did it, I would have covered it up better. It's a very easy to say, thing to say after the fact. <laughs> uh, yeah, the perfect way... Do you feel like no? Sorry? Oh, yeah, I was just going to say the perfect way to get away with murder is make it clearly obvious that it was you and not just say, I wouldn't make it clearly obvious that it was me. <laughs> It couldn't have been me. I would have thought of all of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely not high all the time. 
or and Miss McWall is the illegitimate daughter of Lord Walnut, but it, and she has she has for a lot for twenty years of her life lived as a humble apothecary, unacknowledged by her unacknowledged by her peer by her peer of a father, and uh, not to mention her mother, who is as a, who as as of yet has not acknowledged her properly, and she is an unexpected interloper and has has insinuated herself into the social circle of one lady Hazel Walnut, maybe. Somewhere deep in her heart, she nurtures, she nurtures a... Resentment. You know how it is. You know how it is with poor people. They resent the rich. And maybe. Oh, no! Maybe. Oh, she resented him enough to poison him. After all, she did find the body and find the vial and no. happened to know whose vial, vial it was. Quote, unquote. I was actually thinking it'd be fun if we decided as a group who Meg's mother is. <laughs> but yeah. We did establish it technically in the collaboration phase, right? That's, That's the relationship, true, yeah. so. <laughs> but we could say it's something different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it and, doesn't seem like it was a. It doesn't seem like it was a natural death. The, the lady Susan might rule it that way just to avoid scandal. There yeah, like... to be clear, uh, Lady Hazel has very loudly and publicly said right now that it was Miss Meg because she was the one that handed the poison to her. So it was technically her fault. I wouldn't hmm. have done it without you. I wouldn't have done it at all. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. I yeah, I like the both of them getting in trouble. <laughs> Look at this puppy eyes. I couldn't have done it. <laughs> I Look think... at my pretty hands. I couldn't have killed anyone. Miss Mac Hickory is crying even harder. It's just I'm just getting baseless accusations here. I did I had nothing to do with this. You manipulated oh me. You are the one who's gonna get the. <laughs> You're the one who's gonna get the house now, and you sent to me. You you. Oh, I could just strangle, murder. <laughs> mm, what are the verbs that come next? <laughs> I could just say some firm words to you about this. <laughs> Cry about it a lot. Yeah. yeah. So I think we are. I think I think as votes go, I th I do like. I think Lady Susan Winch accused these two. Is my yep. is my vote. Mine too. Just no evidence. Be like, worth you're both back. such shit people. No evidence. <laughs> the jury would convict me, except the court of public opinion, which luckily is what matters. <laughs> All three of you go away for. <laughs> <laughs> for no good reason. I didn't even know what the little vial did. And I could very well th think it, it wasn't a poison. I mean, you, you did tell me that it was, but I couldn't have not believed you. <laughs> <laughs> so... Are you two okay with being with having the having the murder pinned on you? Yes, I've yeah. been confessing for a long time. Now. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> I mean, Miss Mac is trying to get away with it, but I think the tide is turned against her. Yeah, I think Lady Susan to this house so very young, and I trust well, you, and oh. I trust you when you tell me to kill a man. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I want to I want to ask a very specific question. What does the bill say? <laughs> Does it say if I'm murdered by this person? Because he wasn't murdered by this Mac, by Lady Mac, technically speaking. Uh, I think... Then, technically speaking, he wasn't murdered by me either, because the poison did it. <laughs> <laughs> you did as much as me. You were, the, you were the mastermind behind it. Look at my pretty face. I haven't thought anything in ages. Uh, yeah. So I think... Uh, Lady Susan pulls out the letter that she received, and she reads from it. She says, Dear Lady Susan, 
We have met again <laughs> for your services. An important client of our firm, Lord Ernest Walnut, was just this morning found deceased in his own home. Last night, we understand he was in good health and humor and had invited his family and friends over for an important occasion. Today, his body was discovered by his valet, <laughs> by, by Miss May Wall, in the early hours of the morning. That was a, that was a piece of misinformation. However, <laughs> due to the sudden and suspicious nature of Lord Walnut's death, we seek to engage you on behalf of his estate to determine if any wrongdoing took place. Such wrongdoing can, of course, change the rights under his will considerably. We trust, as always, in your professionalism and discretion, and hope to see you shortly. M. Kirk of uh, Kirk and Pine Solicitors. Now, what I say, what I always say when investigating a murder, is that solving a murder is either completely impossible or very easy. And I am pleased to say <laughs> that in this case, that this case definitely falls in the latter category. <laughs> I believe we've I believe we've come to the truth of the matter, and that uh, Lady Hazel Walnut and uh, and and Lady Meg Walnut Hickory share a share a significant share roughly equal portions of the blame as the woman who committed the act and the woman who instigated the commission of the act in the murder of Lord Ernest Walnut, and that of course means that. Being that this is a heinous crime, I believe we I believe as as has been written in this letter we will substantially alter the terms of the will in order because well it's simply not on you should not be you should not be murdering you, sh you should not be murdering your uh, uncle and uh, and soon to be ex-husband regardless of how much they may have displeased you or provoked you by not giving you sufficient rooms to live in <laughs> 66 and... is the amount i need <laughs> Yes, well, I'm afraid you. I'm afraid you won't be getting the twenty either. Damn. Yes, we need to. Yes, I'm afraid we might even have to bump you down as low as ten. Of course, we should. Of course, we should. That's almost single digits. Of course, we shan't be involving the authorities because we do not need a scandal. But you're. Uh, but I think. Uh, I think in this case, myself and uh, myself and Mr. Uh, uh, myself and Mr. Kirk. Have been discussing what to what what to do about this, and we think it only appropriate that the majority of the estate should go to Miss Meg Wall instead. I think Miss Meg Wall starts crying even more, but she's still not a bawling type, so it's like silent tears. We'll agree on the we'll agree on the specific details a little later. This is going to be an extensive court procedure. As of now, we would as of, as of now we would I would just like to I would just like to say to uh, Miss Hazel Walnut, because you are not indeed a lady. <laughs> oh! You would be known. You would be known as you would be known as the Honorable Hazel Walnut, even if you were the heir, which you are not. Not the title, too. I, I if not, not for the rooms, I need at least a title. I, I I'm you. the victim here. In any case, this. <laughs> Rumor of this will no doubt spread, so I recommend that the two of you perhaps relocate temporarily to France while the heat dies down, and then maybe you can come back and we can bump those rooms back up to, let's see, let's see a comfortable 20 for each of you. <laughs> I, my heart is so rich very bad. Getaway. Rich get away with everything. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I, I... I still would. Uh, I still would like to say that I'm personally disappointed in both of you. Two women in the prime of their lives, so good at crying and using their talents for such evil. Crying, bawling at that. <laughs> I think Meg. Oh, I Ms. can't Meg believe I'm having this. That... Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say Miss Megwall cries when uh, <laughs> Lady Susan mentions that when uh, you both come back, you get twenty rooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the solidarity. It is very rough. <laughs> well, you understand oh, we can't leave you destitute. That would be even more scandalous. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I think uh, Miss uh, yeah, Lady Mag is just like I can't believe I'm getting this on based on only an accusation. That's very upset with it. 
the only the only silver lining is that is that Miss Mag this this was a sl to tell you the truth a slightly less messy way to resolve this than the div than the divorce would have ultimately been. So <laughs> congratulations to you for that at at least. I'm 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 sorry you didn't get more of this. Well, women do need to look out for each other, and uh, as as always, as, as always, I try to live my life by the th by the three cardinal rules of girl boss, gaslight, and gay. <laughs> 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 and you have fa you have failed on several counts here. Thank you all for thank you all for showing up to this will reading. I apologize for the theatrics, but it is necessary in this field. And she, and she she just like nods she just like nods to everyone she, I think she, I think shakes Mr. Kirk's hand and leaves. <laughs> so good. <clears throat> Which means we go into epilogues. <laughs> <laughs> right. How it so, is how how does the honorable Hazel find her ten rooms? <laughs> So for the epilogues, we write one letter from each major character, revealing their lives a few months after the confrontation. <laughs> mm. I, think for, I think for Mrs. Pet, uh, <laughs> I have a question. Would Miss Wall put up Mrs. Pet? Like in in that Which new house one? she has. Oh, uh, okay. Miss Megwall. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering what she would even do with all of this because she's a working lady. I mean, she's not even a lady. <laughs> she doesn't want to be a lady. <laughs> you are now. I mean, knowing now how she was like so easily manipulated <laughs> by <laughs> all of these people, I'm wondering if she would. Turn it into like a schoolhouse or something? <laughs> Is that a thing she can do? <laughs> can she? That's surely a thing that she can do. That's also something that will offend Hazel very All much. of you? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Even better! <laughs> um... Then I don't. I feel like Mrs. Pitt confessing to wanting to murder her father that she <laughs> never got to know is not great. Yeah. So I don't think she would be willing to put her up um, for living arrangements, considering she did receive a part of the estate herself. Even though, even the, even though, as I said, even though, as I said, you know, that's uh, that's I could very well have been your mother, for all you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. Yeah. I yeah, like I think Meg Wall did not want a mother that was a murderess, but I don't know. You confess that you might have wanted to murder him as well, so it was maybe she doesn't want anything to do with slip. you. <laughs> Also, I don't blame <laughs> Mrs. Pitt is in a Mrs. Pitt is in a very bad time of her life. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, I think I think she I think in that case, I think she doesn't press the issue. She I think she manages to I think she uses I, I think that little twenty room summer house that goes to her and she uses that to and she uses that for a little convalescence to reduce her intake of strychnine and then just kind of. And then, and, then, and then I think her epilogue letter is a uh, is a letter to her husband apologizing for how badly she's treated him, <laughs> and that uh, and and that she updates how did him. You, on, yeah. How did you girl boss? What was the other thing? And then gaslight yes. your way into getting the twenty house room. Well, it had to go to someone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you seduced Mr. Kirk. <laughs> Maybe. Hard to say. Because <laughs> I don't think Miss Megwall did it willingly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I, I think she sends a letter to apology to, of, of apology to Mr. Pitt, uh, brags about the nice little twenty room house that she scored, and it's like uh, and says something like uh, and says something like you, you know I I I think in light of being confronted with all of my most tragic mistakes across a period of twenty years, I think I I think I am prepared. I I think I've really learned something from this entire experience, and would be if, if you're open to it, maybe maybe trying this man, maybe try maybe try an unseparation on a temporary basis. <laughs> <laughs> you can maybe come visit me. We could stay together for maybe like six months, and you can see if uh, you can see if I'm tolerable now, as you put it, <laughs> 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 or if I'm less, or if I'm less intolerable. <laughs> Whether he takes her up on it or not, that history is silent on this. So. Um, I think for uh, Lady Max or for Miss Mac Hickory's uh, letter, I think it's a letter to um, Miss Mac Wall, and I think it's basically like, "Oh, won't you put up your poor mother with you? I know I did. Um, <laughs> I know I did a bad thing uh, to uh, <laughs> Lord Walnut, and there's a thing I want to say here and say if you're okay with this or not." <laughs> But I think she also puts in there, he wasn't your real father anyway. Oh! oh, oh. oh damn! Oh, Christ. That's... that's amazing. Yes. <laughs> yes. She just convinced him it was, and like, you know, that was enough. Oh my gosh. Good thing Mrs. Pitt doesn't hear about that. Yes! <laughs> yeah. uh, and I think she also, um, more in terms of what, what her situation is now, I think she's back in France and she's like, with her family is annoyed by her, like, by her uncle and is like, oh, they're spending all day trimming their gardens, what a weird thing to do, you know? <laughs> Does she increase her um, crying acting points? Um, yeah, I think it's very like fearful and stuff like that. <laughs> and like, no, there's no one to compete with her on on the crying front. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it is tear stains. <laughs> yeah, I think there's also in the letter a lot of like, oh, I'm so wild with what I did. I don't know what compelled me. That sort of stuff, you know. Ah! Yep. So good. <laughs> Maybe Meg's become less gullible in the final interview oh. once. <laughs> no, I think the thing she is like, oh yeah, I didn't actually mean to have um, Lady Hazel kill her, but I guess I can see how she would have interpreted it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is so good at the gaslight part of this. <laughs> These people are so bad. It's incredible. <laughs> this is fantastic. Okay. Um, for Lady Hazel Walnut, first of all, uh, her name isn't Lady Hazel Walnut anymore. Oh, yep. Because she isn't a lady, and also she isn't actually a walnut, because she took after her uncle's name, because she was set to inherit. Oh. But her name isn't... Her surname isn't Walnut. I will take the suggestion from the chat, and I do think her name is Miss Hazel <laughs> Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> and she did get a very respectable seven rooms uh, house, <laughs> but she isn't gonna live in a seven room house. No way. She actually just moved back with her father who has, like, 33 rooms. <laughs> which is also very bad. Um, but not as bad as seven. So she is living back with her family. And I think her letter is actually to her sister, who is which her one? actual sister. <laughs> <laughs> um, she has... She's been getting better, getting along better with her sister. I think her sister is engaged to someone, has been, Ooh. was engaged in the, in this past few months, and 
or maybe she married and moved out. But actually, Hazel has been missing her sister. Uh, Yeah. Turns out that when you're not like seven and a brat, it's more enjoyable to live with your sister. And it is actually okay to share a living room with someone. You don't need a separate room just for yourself. Um, So I think she... Yeah, less crying now. Um, there aren't as many duvets and fainting couches to cry on. <laughs> so that's why she stopped. <laughs> yeah, you have to look pretty. If you aren't looking pretty, that's the point. Um, but yeah, I think she's just back at living her a regular life. I think the the peanut manor is in a different little village and people don't know about that one time where she killed her uncle <laughs> and she's still the most eligible bachelorette in the region so just doing it in a slightly smaller house I feel like she could still um, utilize her excellent crying skills in, no in yeah of way. course <laughs> and still do bat my eyelids and tear a uh, couple tasteful tears whenever someone comes visit. I might even say, oh, how horrible it was that my dear uncle died. But I am so very grateful that I got to move back with my parents and sister. I miss them so very much. And then I cry about how much I miss <laughs> them. <laughs> it is very unfortunate that this was what brought us together again. But... But it is, I do feel very lucky to have them. Nobody ever questions why you left in the first place. <laughs> it, is, it is very unfortunate that I killed a man, but, uh, but you know, it did bring my family back together, so it's impossible to say if it was bad or not. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think... Mm-hmm. Oh, go ahead. Uh, was it something to do with Hazel? Oh no, I just said who can say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was thinking um, Meg Wall probably doesn't want to have anything at all to do with any of these people. <laughs> so she probably like turns, I don't know, half of the place into a school, half of the place into a park, maybe. Uh... I don't know what other useful things could there be for the public. Um, maybe a small library, considering that epic reading room. Uh, and, <laughs> and then just goes far, far away <laughs> to work as an apoth. I don't think she even wants to be an apothecarist anymore. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I oh, got no. her into trouble. The richness has infected you. <laughs> She's just like so traumatized from all of this being manipulated. Like, I don't know if she trusts anyone anymore. God, getting yeah. manipulated <laughs> into inheriting in the States. <laughs> you see a woman crying and you get a flashback. <laughs> yeah, like you don't even trust tears. Oh my God. And also, to be clear, uh, Miss Hazel, very best friends with Miss Mag. After it was yeah. clear that she wasn't gonna get anything, cut out completely. No interest whatsoever. <gasps> oh, further backstabbing. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. Maybe <laughs> would Miss Mag Wall just turn to the church and become a nun? <laughs> well, you could, well, you could actually donate, uh, you could actually donate most of, uh, most of Nut Park to, to, to where, like, the church's use. <laughs> the church, famously not, not a corrupt thing at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? <possible> thing. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> Um, I, I still like the the um, library and school idea, but maybe the rest <laughs> of the funds go to the church. Well, you know what has a well, you know what has a library and a school attached to it? A monastery. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Um, of course, she makes sure to leave um, maybe a small plot of land to her adopted parents, but that's it. <laughs> they get nothing. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that's that's a decent amount. I, I don't know. Maybe they could also take like the monetary value or or any business interactions, but um, I imagine they were the kind to teach uh, Meg hard work, and maybe they didn't want to accept the rest of the property after the tragedy as well. Yeah, especially, yeah, given how you got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> She didn't ask for any of this. <laughs> <laughs> the code demands that somebody leave the entire exchange wealthy, and I think that <laughs> I think that brings the us to wins. our story. Yeah, <laughs> and that brings them to our story. the The murders were caught. Justice was justice existed somewhere, probably <laughs> somewhere <laughs> else, agency. very far away. It's the Regency. It is, uh... It is Regency. One of the most nightmarish times and one of the most horrible places on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> but, it's been, it's been a delightful game, and you've all been incredible, and chat has been lovely, and, most importantly of all, I, I, some of the people listening, listening to this, maybe you live in 60 rooms, maybe you live in 40. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you have uh, maybe you have only a pathetic thirteen rooms to your name. You might not be. You might not. Uh, maybe you hit all three of the uh, all three of the peaks on the uh, on the great tetrahedron of uh, <laughs> girl boss gaslight gatekeep and the secret fourth thing. <laughs> maybe you only have one. I think Rambling. whoever you are and wherever you are and however and however much girl bossing gaslighting or gatekeeping you do. Donate to Transland, donate to Trans Lifeline. It's a worthy cause. If you if you're set to inherit a if you're set to inherit massive wealth, donate it to trans people. Better than Yeah, better to trans people than to church. This is uh, <laughs> this is this is true. <laughs> Absolutely one hundred percent. Yeah. Anyway. Everyone's been lovely. We are. We have seven minutes until the very next game, which is. Thank you, HB, for setting all of this up. Yeah. It's a, thank you. It's a delight to. It's it's a delight to run. Uh, it's a it's a delight to run Lady Susan PI. I've never run it before. I've played it before, and this was this was in retrospect a very good choice for uh, a very a very good choice for this one shot <laughs> simply because of how deeply insane it gets. And. <laughs> And yeah, it's uh, this is uh, Lady Susan PI. Just to remind everyone, is a is an adaptation of Good Society, specifically for one shots, which may be of interest to those of you in Role Plus Bond. Good Society, it's a game usually played over four over over four to six sessions. Uh, Lady Susan PI is not. It is strictly a one shot game. And it's a very good one. It is part of mm -hmm. an expanded acquaintance, which is uh, which includes such things as uh, which includes such things as uh, the magic supplement, the face supplement, the 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 supplement where you have sword fights, all of those things. I want to and play the face supplement so bad. We'll do it someday. We'll do uh, it someday. Please. Alice. We gotta play yes. more Good Society. We do. Good Society's so good. It isn't Sorry. a title. <laughs> Story brewers are great. You gotta, you gotta play their games. They're good. Play good society. Do it now. <laughs> yeah. Or actually, don't need to trans lifeline. Then play good society. Then, then do it do all them at again. the same time. Do it at the same time. Yeah. But next up is uh, next up is our very own Halcyon's tensile breakdown. By <laughs> Facilitated by the author of the game, it's going to be a great time. Stick around! And, once yeah. again, don't need to trans lifeline. Don't keep that treasure for yourself. What well, if your crying heirs will, will, will steal it away from you? <laughs> yeah. You might see me or Elf again if you stick around for... Uh, yeah. That's already done, so, yeah. 
Yeah. Spend that money helping trans girls cry in the good way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Crying is for everyone. <laughs> Spread the love. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.